follow Michael Brown at Michael Brown USA. And stay connected with all of us at 630 KHOW. KHOW.com. And on the iHeartRadio app. Tom Martino is next on Denver's talk station, 630 KHOW. Men, this is Jeff for the Rocky Mountain Men's Clinic. And you've heard me talk a lot about how treating low testosterone can improve your sleep, your workouts, your energy levels, and more. But today I want to talk to you about your sex drive because low testosterone can have a significant impact on your desire for intimacy. It can even be a factor in erectile dysfunction. And if you're in a relationship or wanting to be in a relationship, a low sex drive could really be a problem. The good news is that if you're like most guys, treating your low testosterone could really change the way you feel about sex, giving you back the flame and desire that is so important when you love someone. So if you're feeling sluggish and tired, if you're not sleeping well, if your workouts aren't that great, and most of all, if your sex drive is more like a putt, make an appointment at the Rocky Mountain Men's Clinic and have your testosterone levels checked. Your initial visit is only $99 and includes blood work and a medical consult. And if you start on testosterone the day of your appointment, your visit is free. Call 720-440-7900 or go to RockyMountainMensClinic.com. We have five offices across the front range to serve you. Electrical mysteries, be gone. Broken switch, inoperative outlet, maybe flickering lights. Plum Line Services can help with a low-cost $21 whole house electrical inspection. I'm consumer advocate Tom Martino, recommending this low-cost check to give you peace of mind and safety from a company with faith and leadership in their field. Plum Line Services from Castle Rock to Fort Collins. Service at home, servants at heart, 25 years strong. PlumlineServices.com. When it comes to your money and your mortgage, you just want the facts. So here are the facts about the Life Changer Loan. Our clients pay principal first, not interest. They retain 24-7 access to their equity. They pay off their mortgage in well under 10 years without changing a dime of spending habit. And they typically save six figures in interest compared to a traditional loan. It's not magic. It's just math. So get the facts at LifeChangerLoan.com. That's LifeChangerLoan.com. LifeChanger Loan Corp. is a licensed Colorado mortgage company. NMLS 1863775. LifeChanger Loan Corp. is an equal housing lender. When it comes to selecting a real estate broker, accept no excuses. That's why I endorse this man. We aggressively go to work for you. No gimmicks, no shortcuts, just results. Frank Duran with REMAX Alliance. You get my team's full support, but I personally negotiate the sale for you when you list your home with me. I'm with you every step of the way. Go to Frank's website for tips on buying and selling. Frank Duran, the real estate man. Dot com or call 303-920-1622. This is Dan Kaplis. Car crashes are a form of violence. Car crashes instantly shatter innocent lives. Our firm has a historically great record of achieving economic justice for the victims of motor vehicle crashes. We accept righteous motor vehicle crash cases on a percentage fee basis. If you need my help, please call 303-770-5551 or hit dancaplislaw.com. Com. That's Dan C A P L I S Law dot com. In this week's Marketers Report, Angela Zapeda, CMO Hyundai Motor America, talks about audio storytelling. People scratch their heads and say, why would you put your brand on a channel that doesn't show the sheet metal? But for us, it's about storytelling. That's driving a lot of brand awareness, but we can also drive a lot of intent. As the number one audio company, iHeartMedia gives marketers access to the influencers, audiences, and data you need to grow. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. Your business has been getting nickel and dimed by bank fees for too long. It's time you got more for your money. Blue Vine Business Checking gives you more, like no monthly fees, 2% APY, free standard ACH, and up to $3 million in FDIC coverage. It's everything you'd expect from your business bank and more. So apply online, open your Blue Vine business account in minutes, and leave the branch behind. Go to bluevine.com slash radio now. That's bluevine.com slash radio. Business banking beyond expectations. This report is sponsored by Progressive Insurance. Snow wraps up by mid-morning, but blowing snow sticks around throughout Monday afternoon with gusty conditions. Highs today only reaching into the mid-30s. I'm Fox 31, Pinpoint Weather Team Meteorologist Kylie Burrs. Progressive Insurance is making it easy to save money. When you bundle your auto policy with home, condo, or renters, you'll earn a multi-policy discount. Easy to bundle, easy to save. Visit Progressive.com. That's Progressive.com. KRFX HD2 Denver. KHOW Denver. An iHeartRadio station. Listen on the free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Free. Never sounded so good. ABC News. I'm Brian Clark. 
Former President Donald Trump is in court in New York City for a hearing in the hush money case involving an adult actress. Today is also the deadline for him to secure a bond to pay the $464 million corporate fraud judgment. This is ABC's Stephen Portnoy. Today is the deadline for Donald Trump to put up the full amount of the judgment in a bond so he can pursue his appeal. His attorneys have said that has proven to be practically impossible. For the moment, there's no telling what's going to happen next. The New York Attorney General might seek to begin the complicated process of having some of Trump's assets seized. But Trump is also hoping for a last-minute intervention by a state appeals court. It's a major shakeup at embattled Boeing, the CEO leaving at the end of the year. Some other executives are also out amid high-profile safety incidents. And L.A. Dodger star Shohei Otani says he'll speak to reporters today. It'll be the first time since his interpreter was fired after being questioned about money taken from Otani's account. This is ABC News. The British royal family is thanking the world for support after the Princess of Wales announced Friday she is being treated for cancer. Kensington Palace saying she and Prince William are extremely moved by the public's warmth and support and are grateful for the understanding of their request for privacy. Kate also turning to her father-in-law, the King, who is facing his own cancer diagnosis, visiting Kate in the hospital when they both underwent their initial procedures and sharing lunch together the day before she publicly announced her diagnosis. ABC's Maggie Rooley at Kensington Palace. For years, Chick-fil-A has promised no antibiotics in its chicken, but now saying it could run into trouble getting enough chicken. It's modifying the promise, saying it won't use chicken with antibiotics important to human medicine. And no more Senate run for the First Lady of New Jersey. Tammy Murphy suspended her primary campaign. She'd been running against fellow Democrat Andy Kim as they try to take the seat currently held by Senator Bob Menendez. I'm Brian Clark, ABC News. Some kids never smile. They're embarrassed by their crooked teeth. They want braces like the other kids, but their families can't afford them. Some may even try to straighten their teeth themselves. That can make everything worse. Luckily, there's Donated Orthodontic Services, a program from the American Association of Orthodontists. It helps provide orthodontic treatment to kids and teens whose families can't afford it. For kids who apply, are approved, and are matched with a volunteer orthodontist, it can be life-changing. Their treatment is in the hands of an expert, a licensed local orthodontic specialist who improves their smiles by correctly aligning teeth and jaws. Some kids think they'll never smile again, but donated orthodontic services may help them smile with confidence. To link to the application and eligibility requirements, visit aaoinfo.org. K-How News Time, 10.03. One person is dead and two others wounded following a Sunday morning shooting at a house party in Commerce City. Police say it happened along East 69th Place. Neighbors reported hearing multiple gunshots, seeing many people flee the scene. Police working to identify and apprehend a suspect or suspects and say a small, older model white pickup truck may have been involved in the shooting. Over the weekend, volunteers in Arvada worked to help mitigate wildfire risk. Arvada Fire Protection District Jefferson County Open Space and Team Rubicon spent the weekend working in Van Bibber Park to reduce vegetation that could fuel a potential fire. Arvada Fire's Brady Johnson spoke with Fox 31. The Marshall Fire showed everyone um, the term fire season doesn't really mean much in Colorado anymore. It's year round. Johnson says they're focused on educating the surrounding neighborhoods about wildfire preparedness. They encourage homeowners to create a defensible space between their house and the vegetation that surrounds it. That's the latest. I'm Chad Bauer. Now, impact traffic. This report is sponsored by Wendy's Classic Hamburgers. This morning's wintry weather has icy road conditions all throughout the Denver metro. I-25 north and southbound showing sub-highway speeds all throughout town as well as down south through Castle Rock all the way to Colorado Springs. Back to town over on the east end near DIA, I-70 westbound after Peoria, a crash in the right lane as slow traffic back from I-225. South of there, Parker Road southbound, a crash reported at Chambers Road. Fox 31, pinpoint weather, scattered snow showers throughout the metro area this morning. High 36, overnight low of 18, partly cloudy skies tomorrow and a bit warmer with a high of 46, high 54. Current temperature in Denver is 21 degrees with your impact traffic and weather. Mark Swan at 630 KHOW. This March at Wendy's, get a Dave single for a buck or a Dave's double for just two bucks with the in-app offer. Limited time offer at participating U.S. Wendy's. Redeem in Wendy's app. 
Account registration required. See offer in Wendy's app for details. You've probably heard the powerful once a week weight loss drug that's all the rage. It really works. You've also heard it costs $1,200 a month and there's shortages. There's good news. DenverRegen.com can supply you now. Just $250 a month. You heard me. $250 a month. Genuine semaglutide compounded in a U.S. pharmacy. Doctor consultation included. DenverRegen.com. In person visits or by phone. DenverRegen.com. Uh oh, Brad's buzzed. Oh yeah? Yeah, he's starting with the woots. <laughs> and now a speech. I just want to say that friendship is about heart, heart and brain. Who's with me? Good thing is, he knows when he's buzzed. And my brain is saying, when it's time to go home, somebody call me a ride. Love that guy. Me too. Know your buzzed warning signs? Call for a ride when it's time to go home. Buzz driving is drunk driving. A message from NHTSA and the Ad Council. Mm -hmm. Listen closely. Nancy, while well, we see you on the people's picket line, we need you there. Or a picket line might sound like a pickup line. Oh, I have been waiting for a pickup line. <laughs> Dan Kaplis, yeah. afternoons at 4 on 630 K-How. Yeah. Ripped off, bad news. You need advice so you don't have to lose. Just as fast as we can. This gonna help the common man. This is the Troubleshooter Show. Now, Tom Martino. Hello, welcome to the show. We are here to kick off the week on uh, some really hot topics. 303 713 Talk. 303 713 8255. By the way, I am going to start taking inbound calls on uh, or inbound inquiries in a number of different forums. I've decided we need to really expand from phone calls alone. Now, this doesn't mean, well, no, no. What it means is this. You contact me. Now, what we have done up till now is if you contact me, we will call you back if we're not on the air at the time you contact me. For example, if you call 303 Martino, 303 627 8466, and we're not there to answer, you leave a message, we will get back to you. And we have some of those examples today. Those are called outbound calls after you call us. Another way to contact us, either live or leaving your number, will be on Nextdoor, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on LinkedIn. So, if you message me during the show on any of those forums, I will likely see it and either address your question or call you back if you leave a number for us. We'll never share that number on the air. So that's what I want to try to start doing. In addition to live phone calls, you can message me right now, for example, on Nextdoor. If you go in there, just look for Tom Martino. If you go on LinkedIn, look for Tom Martino. And then you can go on uh, YouTube, of course. My YouTube morons know that. They have been messaging me forever. And, of course, that's because they're morons and they're smart. So on YouTube, it's Real Tom Martino. Actually, no, it's referral list. I'm sorry, that's our channel. I, I just use Real Tom Martino to log in. But I guess you could go there too. I mean, it doesn't matter. If you just go to YouTube and find us, we'll talk to you. And this hour uh, brought to you by Water Pros for Kitchen. Kitchen, uh, I mean, I'll tell you, when, kitchen sink, I have a reverse osmosis, triple filter reverse osmosis. Around $1,400 fully installed. Good people, 303-862-5554. I also have with me Bob Logan from Plumline Services. Speaking of water, they do, of course, plumbing, heating, cooling, electric, and drains. Right now, this time of year, what's the big thing? Bob, what's the big thing this time of year? Is it, uh, let me guess, uh, HVAC, obviously, right still? It is HVAC, even though we've had some very mild weather. Well, it sure. Is, it is the season. Our and, uh, you know, it's, it's funny because a lot of times when the weather gets nice, People forget about it, and then, like this morning, for example, our phones were exploding because of the cold weather. So it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. Isn't that weird? It. That happens all the time, all the time. If you if you don't catch it uh, when when the off season, 
you know, and, and let, me, let me put it to you this way. They wait to the rush. For example, with heat, you're going to get a slew of calls when it hits 90. Yes. But I mean, they could call now and probably, maybe not today, but what I'm saying is before it gets to be 90 and save a ton of money. They, absolutely. Why we, do people do that? We are just like any industry, and we get some incentives from our manufacturers. Uh, during the slow times, you can get the best deals of the year. But if yep. you wait until it gets super yeah. hot or super cold, that's when you're, that's when you're going to pay top dollar. All right, so uh, we're going to be talking about HVAC. And, of course, Plumbing, Heating, Cooling, Electric Drains, Plumb Line Services has been one of, my spon- one of my longest sponsors ever. And then we'll go to Ms. L- Melissa right now wants to talk about an auto sale. Our number is 303-713-TALK, 303-713-8255, or 303-MARTINO. You can call 24-7. You can also contact me, as I said, as next door. If you're not, uh, I won't even explain. You, you know, if you're on there, you know, you just search for me. LinkedIn, next door, YouTube, and... Uh, what even facebook i guess kelly you check facebook messages right so we that's a good place to get us to so melissa what's going on with you what's happening hey yeah so i um just decided to reach out this morning after a really long week it's been what's going on with you what's happening so i purchased a vehicle from southwest motors um i say it was february 19th and and what kind of uh, vehicle? Yeah, it's a 2018 Kia Forte. Those are usually pretty nice. Yes. So what's the problem? And where? Wait, where did you say you bought it? Southwest Motors in Pueblo. Okay, and what's the problem? So the problem is, I asked the general manager to um, unwind the loan. Because since I purchased it, it's been giving me nothing but trouble. A day, the same day I purchased it, I was about 30 minutes out of Pueblo. All these lights started going on. Um, RPM uh, wasn't working. Hey, Melissa, Uh, let me ask you a question here. Did you buy that um, after you had it checked out or as is? Oh, they said it was uh, inspected. It was checked out. It was a so great on, car. So on the warranty, on the warrant, on on the contract, it says it was checked out and it's in perfect condition. Yes, it does. Okay, send that to me. We'll 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 get that fixed for you. Um, normally, used car contracts do not say has been checked out and in perfect condition. So you're very very lucky on this one. You're very very lucky that it says it's in perfect condition. Um, I always tell people, get everything in writing. Normal used cars are done as is. But they still, even if it says in perfect condition, they don't owe you, they don't have to undo the deal. Now, um, I want to call this dealer. Who's in the studio? Can we we get... I want to call the dealer. So do you have a copy of the contract you can send us? I can pull it up via email. I did leave the car at Southwest Motors. It's well, you shouldn't have done week. that. I Melissa, let me just explain them. something. It is not our right to just undo a deal, okay? It, we think it is, but it isn't. I know a lot of times we think what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong, but we, you can't. You can't just do it. So when you left it there, the reason, when, did yes. you leave it, when did you leave it back at the dealer? Last Wednesday, when they asked me to return the vehicle, they were going to give my vehicle back to me. Oh, wait, they did say you could return the... Oh, I didn't know that. So the dealer... Man, you have everything down. So not only do you have in writing that the car has been checked out and is in perfect condition, the dealer also said you could return it, right? I I have a text message because he said I was in breach of contract because I did not send over my w-2s i did not have my w-2s my tax preparer had them oh, okay so they asked said, you they said because we can't get you financed you have to bring the car back yes and i said good i will send it back because it's been giving me nothing but trouble it's been in the shop longer it. than what i've had it yeah okay so where does it stand right now so it stands right now where they out of the blue finalized the contract um, I had sent my W-2s. I got the W-2s. And well, why did you said, do okay, that well, if you wanted to return it? likely. Why did you, if you yes. brought the car, did you finalize, did you send your W-2s in that after you returned the car? No. 
This was before I returned the vehicle. And they said, okay, more than likely, we're not going to be able to. Okay, you know, so let, let me get it straight. Let me, let me get it straight. You brought the car back, but the deal is final, right? They said it wouldn't. They said they would contact me if it was finalized. I said, okay, I'll just return your Melissa, car. Melissa, I'm going to ask you a simple question. Wednesday. Today, do they consider the deal finalized? They do. Okay, well, it probably is. Melissa, let me explain something. When I'm talking to you, I'm not your enemy, but I'm going to be right now, for now, a neutral party so I can give you accurate information. Here's what happened. Yes. You bought a car, you can't bring it back. If they say to you, take it back because you don't have your W-2s, you took it back. Meanwhile, they did have your W-2s, and they say, no, we're going to hold you to the contract. They can. Unless you got a written release when you dropped off the car, you're still under the contract. Okay? You still are. Like it or not, you're still under the contract. But uh, the good news is you have in writing that the car is in perfect condition and completely checked out. Therefore, the, if anything goes wrong with that, they have to fix it. Send me the contract. Hold on. I, we need to get this contract. She would be the first. Let me explain something to you. She would be the absolute first buyer I have ever had in my 45 years of doing this show in Denver. In fact, 50 years in media where someone has had in writing, the car has been checked out and is in perfect condition. So I applaud you for that. Melissa, 303-713-TALK. It's going to be no problem getting your car fixed as soon as we see that contract. Now, Mike's got a question on shipping cars coming up. Mohammed wants to talk about a possible scam from Friday. All of that right after I tell you about something you need to know about, DenverRegen.com, doing compounded weight loss. Compounded, what does that mean? Well, what it means is they're doing semaglutide and tercipitide, the uh, weight loss supplements that cost hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars, like 12 or 1400. Well, for semaglutide, for example, they're doing 250 a month, denverregen.com. If addiction, trauma, depression, or anxiety are making you feel alone, the Raleigh House is here for you. With two locations in Denver, our team of professionals at the Raleigh House provides a premium level of care. Offering both inpatient and outpatient services, the Raleigh House can meet you where you're at. Our substance abuse and mental health services at the Raleigh House can provide a place where you can reconnect, find your purpose, and heal. Here you go with Joe. Are you good? I'm good. I don't know if you normally get it. Okay. Are you you good? That's the Raleigh House. From Diego to the hood. 978-717. Joe Cano is a certified financial planner I've been talking to for years about the stock market, about investments, about life insurance, about annuities. I trust him. What I want to know is, what do you do in a stock market that is so unpredictable? Now, of course, it's doing great last year and the start of this year. Some say it'll either, listen to this, Joe, It'll either go to 6,000 or it will crash. Well, if you have a retirement plan, you can't, if you go to 6,000 and crash, you've just lost everything you gained, then it takes years to make it up. So how do you navigate something like that? Well, you know, Tom, I was just thinking about this this morning. You know, we had a beautiful, beautiful week of weather last week. Then all of a sudden we got snow and cold. You know, the stock market, to me, is really just like Denver weather, Colorado weather. It goes up and down, up and down. You, you never know what you're going to get. And then, uh, you know, for people that are nearing retirement or they're already retired, any crash of the stock market could create tremendous financial difficulties. And you see, we have our practice, our financial plan and practice, that absolutely doesn't deal with the stock market. We don't believe in volatility. We have a product that is guaranteed to grow no matter what. And people will get a bonus to transfer their 401ks, their IRAs, their investment accounts into what we call the guaranteed pension account that we have. And by the way, Tom, they get an income. And that's what people really want. They want to plan for retirement. And it's not they just an income, have, Joe. It's a guaranteed and, income. No. But a guaranteed income for the rest of their lives. Yeah. And what I want to say is it's also guaranteed not to lose. 
anything, not principal or gain. It's called ratcheting up and, of course, a guaranteed return. I want you to call my friend Joe, MyMoneyMyWay.com, 303-779-6600, MyMoneyMyWay.com. Thank you. Work together. So, Okay. Okay. Now, hey, I want to call. I, Tom? Uh, yes. Just let you I'm in studio. Oh, okay. Um, hey, Kachina. Hey, she's not in here. What'd you need? I want that woman to send us the, the email of that contract. All right. The one that says it's in perfect condition. Right. And we it all know a, that's what we're going to see, right? Yes. She claims that it was papal dispensation from Benedict the 16th. What? Huh? Tell Kachina, though, to get her to send us that. Line one, send us your junk. Hey, can send you us, see my camera? Us. Because I'm feeling particularly good looking, but I'm not sure if it's coming through. I'm in radio, uh, so I don't care. Not looking. YouTubers, morons. Ah. I'm thinking I'm looking really good today. Could you let me know? I did. I made a comment. I said, are you on OnlyFans? Question mark. What do I do with Melissa? Grabbing line one and asking for her documents. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Poor thing. Hey, Melissa, could you send me those? Kelly's on like 18 different types of Sudafed right now. Oh, uh, is she? Is she's always sick. I know. I was trying to come up with an Italian phrase for that. We could change her nickname. But it an Italian rhyme. phrase for what? Constant trouble. Constant trouble. Okay. Um, hold on. Hold on. I'll come up with one. <laughs> okay. Um, if you want. What's that? If, if you want. I mean, we don't need to tease oh. her too much, but she is. Oh, my God. She's like a preemie baby, but she's almost 60. Constantly ill. You're like a preemie. Uh, I don't, I'm trying ah. to think if we have because nah uh, never mind what yeah. I'm saying is this is yeah. that if you in Italian it's pretty boring right, right. Uh, no no I no what up. I'm saying is we may not have a word we may not have that expression the Germans probably have a word no no that we have the, exp- the whole let thing. me put it this way yeah. you can give me anything in English and it'll be Italian we can have an Italian but it may not be an Italian expression and it, it you know what I'm saying? Like necessarily let's say, be uh, well, and and we need it to to rhyme or um, what's the thing where it starts with the same letter like you do with Kelly? Well, let's put it this way: it, if we want to call her constant trouble, it's we're Guacastante. talking about coming up with a nickname that's more appropriate. Guacastante, but but that's right. that's not an Italian saying. Right. You need okay. to you need to call somebody's grandmother and ask. Constante. Is that you keep abusing your throat and we think there's a funnier nickname. Here we go, stand by. Hi, Tom Martino, your troubleshooter 303-713. Talk 303-713-8255. Welcome to the show. Now, we're waiting for that contract from Melissa, and then we're gonna look at it. Somebody take uh, get that for me and send it to me. And then I'm going to go back. Now I'm going to go to Mike, who has a question on shipping cars. And any problem, question, complaint you have, including for Bob Logan at Plum Line Services here, um, we usually get text for them, text 57739. You can also go to Nextdoor. By the way, I am loaded up on Nextdoor and all the others. If you want to message me directly on the air, I'm here. So let's talk. What's going on? What's going on? With you about your uh, about your uh, car shipping, hey. Mike. What's happening? Hey, Tom. Thanks for taking my call. Yes, Mike. Okay. Hey, uh, I had to move to uh, I moved to Florida, and my I want to ship my truck to my son that lives in Colorado Springs. So, who do you recommend for auto shipping company? Okay. Um, I'm asked this all the time. In fact, we really need to get somebody on the referral list. I can only give you people that I have used. And I have had good luck with, but that doesn't mean that I can guarantee it, nor does it mean they're the only ones around. Does that make sense? I mean, I just want to be clear on that. I, oh, yeah, I was looking on it. Yeah. There are a lot of ripoffs in the auto transport company, I mean, business. So I really want you to be careful. 
Um, but, but in auto transport, I have used somebody, and I can't, like I said, let me, let me look here. I want to be sure, man. Uh, the last thing in the world I want to do is give you someone who's going to give you trouble. But I have had um, some people that have been wonderful. Um, Baja was one of them. Baja Transport. That's B-A-J-A. -A, uh, auto Transport. Then there was one I used for really long distance. And I'm trying to figure out where the hell it is. Um, I got to find it in my contacts. I don't know what I've actually put them under. But I can try to find it. And then, um, let's see. What the heck? Auto Baja was one of them. And... Uh, I can't think right now, but I, I'll come up with it and get, let you know. What I can tell you is there are brokers and then there are transport companies. Don't go to a, well, go to a transport company. That doesn't mean that it has to be, um, they have to have their own trucks and stuff. They don't have to, um, but they do have to be, oh, oh wait, wait, let's see, where is it? Nope, I can't find that other one, doggone it. I wish I could. I used them to ship a car from Ohio to here, and I can't find it anywhere. But I, Baja is one of them that I got from a, okay. a car dealer that does pretty good. And again, what we really need to do is I probably really need to uh, um, probably get somebody on the referral list for this. But that's all I can tell you right now. That, and do you want a number for them? Okay. Yeah, sure, if you got it. And they might have a referral if they can't do it. Uh, okay, 303, yes. 303 872 3672. And I, I right. put down I'll, here. I'll get, Tom, I'll give them a call. And, yeah, uh, let, me, let me. Oh, wait, wait. Here's the other one. Dog on it. Here's the other one. Um, it is JS. Yeah, these people I use JS Auto Transport. JS. All right, thanks for finding that. JS Auto Transport, here's the number, 774 855 1473. 1473. All right. Well, thank you for finding that. All right, man. You let me know how it goes with either one of them because I really need to know. And again, I want to warn people, not warn people, but let them know they're, they're not on the referral list. But thanks for calling. Okay, now. 303-713-TALK. Steve's got an issue with a flooded basement. Um, Steve, what's going on with you? Well, yeah, just like you said, uh, Tom, there, there was a uh, – the basement got flooded with a sump pump. And the issue is that the construction company came out and uh, uh, got an authorization from Chung. She's the owner of the home. Wait, so you, are uh, you a renter? She owns it. No, Are you I'm a not. renter, I'm Steve? For, I'm, I, I am not. I am speaking for Kyung because she's Korean. And oh, I got it. I get it. Too. So she did, was this in her home? Yes. Okay, and she had water infiltration? Yes, from a sump pump malfunction. And are you calling her Khan? Kyung. K-Y-O-N-G. Okay. Kyung. Okay. Yeah. Kwong, okay, so tell me what's going on. Well, there are issues with the uh, uh, the construction company is taking her to small claims court. Well, hold on. Let's and back up. Let's back up. Is this a new construction? Is this a, a home improvement? Is this, tell me, what, what is it? What, what, what do you mean the construction company? Start from the beginning. It was a flood caused by a sump pump that malfunctioned it's on an older established home okay the construction or construction and restoration is kw construction and restoration and kw construction and restoration is the one she called after the sump pump malfunctioned that was on the recommendation of her insurance company got it now now i understand so kwong's basement uh flooded and then she called uh, KW, and what happened then? Well, they started doing work. They, they got 
her to sign something, but in, in contacting them. And by the way, every time, time, by the way, I just want to explain this, and I can't, I, I'm sorry I'm interrupting, but it's so important people hear this in context. Where you just said KW Construction was recommended by her insurance, I want to point out that when I do commercials for American Restoration 24-7, which is one of these companies that come in and help, and they're a sponsor of this show and an endorsement, when, they, when I do those commercials, one of the first things I say is, do not let your insurance company pick the restoration company. They will never pick the best one for you ever. Now, it might be that when you go to do research, it just so happens to be a pretty good company, but don't do it based on your insurance company's recommendation. Insurance companies are not to be trusted. Insurance companies are evil. Insurance companies exist off the pain and misery of others. And it's the one industry where I can tell you the entire industry is predicated on hurting people, increasing profit, and denying claims. Okay, go ahead. They, they recommended KW Construction and Restoration. Who is her insurance? My insurance is a Safeco company. Okay. Safeco recommended. Okay. Then what happened? Excuse, excuse me. Um, may I correct it? They did not recommend uh, KW. They, when I contact them, they told me they don't have their contracted business company that I should search it myself oh and, okay uh, find someone. okay so got it. that's what i did. i looked it up on the recommendation um business recommendation and a kw construction popped up okay i got it i got I it so you called kw Re restoration tell me the problem now keep going thank you for that what happened then what's the problem today did did i hear when, okay. when did this happen this flood this happened last year, June, when that big hailstorm we hit In with. June, okay. Um, so, so why are they suing you? Um, they suing me uh, because because uh, the payments uh, that I should make a pay to them, I did not receive the the request for the payments until actually until um, late, I mean, I mean, July, and... Um, well, listen, uh, listen, Kwong, <laughs> let me ask you something. Your insurance covered this, yeah. right? My insurance, um, the problem is they cover up to $5,000, and um, I did not know this until... Well, hold on. Did your three, insurance pay, the for, did they pay 5000 they, they yes they did they made a payment and then uh, mm -hmm. later they realize that uh, realize that they don't cover more than up to 5000 was a limit i get and, it so um, did they, they pay here I, I'm, one question at a time did safe go pay yes. the $5000 yes yes they did okay now kw yes. is saying you still owe money they, I do. I still owe money to them. Here's the problem. They came to work my basement. My understanding was that they were water remediation company, and um, I expect them to come in and remove all, extract the water from the carpet, and um, bring some equipment, so maybe dry afterwards. That's what I was expected. Next thing I know, when I went downstairs to see the progress, they were cutting up all the carpets and uh, removing of it. Well, and hold on. I Sometimes, them, Kwong, I don't know KW. I don't know if they did right or wrong, but I will say this. It is not uncommon to do that when you have a flooded basement. Sometimes the carpets are yes. too far gone, and it's cheaper to cut them up and remove them than to fix them. But, but I, w I don't want to get into the details of the contract. Here's what I want to know. How much is KW trying to collect? 
6600 Okay, and, and are they suing you for it? Yes, they, they are. They're, they're, they're suing you for they, an additional 6000 I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm just going to tell you something, okay? G- just based on what I've heard, you're going to probably have to pay them. I, I, unless you can prove, unless you absolutely can prove that you did not get any value for that, because coming into your home for the 5000 that Safeco paid, plus the other six they want from you, $11,000 is not unreasonable. So you have to have a good reason not to pay them. We can ask what your reason is coming right up. This hour from the Trajan Wealth K House Studios. Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors. TrajanWealth.com. Now, impact traffic. This report is sponsored by Audible. This morning's wintry weather has icy road conditions all throughout the Denver metro. I-25 north and southbound showing sub-highway speeds all throughout town as well as down south through Castle Rock all the way to Colorado Springs. Back to town over on the east end near DIA, I-70 westbound after Peoria crash in the right lane as slow traffic back from I-225. South of there, Parker Road southbound, a crash reported at Chambers Road. Fox 31, pinpoint weather, scattered snow showers throughout the metro area this morning. High 36, overnight low of 18, partly cloudy skies tomorrow and a bit warmer with a high of 46, high of 54 on Wednesday. The current temperature in Denver is 21 degrees with your impact traffic and weather. Mark Swan at 630 KHOW. Come to Audible and discover the best selection of audiobooks without exception. Bestsellers, new releases, plus podcasts and exclusive Audible originals. You'll find everything you love all in one place. Sign up for a free 30-day trial at audible.com. If you're in an accident and you're injured or you start feeling sore, you're not even sure, but you just want to talk to someone, John Fuller is a personal injury attorney who invites your calls up front as soon as you can because it's important to know your rights. You're not going to be charged for it, and you will talk to John, unlike other firms who brag about call centers and induction committees and all of that crap. No, you talk to John. If you decide it's a good fit and you need an attorney, you can hire him on a percentage fee basis. And he works with you. You even get a cell phone number. You can call or text at any time. Here's the message. John Fuller puts the personal and personal injury law. He does talk to all of his clients. He handles the cases. He has pledged only to take the number of cases that he can personally work That's John Fuller, Fuller Law, 303-597-4500. Notice the difference, 597-4500, myaccidentlawyer.co. Very nice. Thank you. Is Mark uh, off today? I do not know. Well, look out in the studio. What do you see? I see a doctor. I see Dr. Jellyfinger. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. Did she, Kelly, did that woman send the contract? Did we remember to ask Melissa for the contract? Say it louder, Kelly. Come on, Shannon. She said, check your mailbox. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't hear that. I'm checking it. I don't see anything. Okay, it didn't work. Okay. Oh. oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. Okay, let's make that look, a, wait. Hey, that'd be a pretty good email sound. This is not. This is not. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you for this. Yes, sir. Where does it say in perfect condition? Well, that's up to you to find. You're the star of the show. We'll have to talk to her. Bring her back up when you get a ch- Well, when I can. You you say I do. Mm. Yeah, let's Both bring her back. Hour. Yep. In fact, it says exactly uh-uh. the opposite. Uh-oh. 
Well, like I used to hear the exact opposite from ex wives. Okay, so we got the contract. Used to think they loved me. Yeah, don't give her a hint, just have her come on, but she's. Yep. She's ready. All Kelly's right, Mohammed just fluffing the phones. We're going to get to you as soon as possible, okay? Kelly, the phone, phone fluffer. You want to use the name Joe? Okay. Uh oh, he's I will switching. The name. All right, hold on. We're switching a name. We got one going into the uh, witness relocation plan here. Wait, we got Steve I got to take back here. Or not Steve, but Kwong. Yep. Steve and Kwong. Yep. Whatever you, whatever it is. And didn't Tom sound like an outboard motor there for a minute? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Kwong. Did you check? I asked you to check audio earlier. I see him saying that. You. Uh, <laughs> these are the times I actually hate you, Kelly. Remember earlier when I asked you to do something? You mean Did there you are only it? certain times you hate her? Well, more than others. I mean, I tolerate her most of the time. I and I like her. I like her. You do? Yeah, she's all right. Holy, could be a lot worse in here. Hey, uh, her her little prelude. Kelly. Huh? Yeah. Have you talked to uh, Leland? Yeah. Is he doing okay? Yeah. I saw him walking his dog he's, on Instagram. Um, yeah, he's taking it in stride, and you know, what are you gonna do? He's happy for Ryan, and. You know, it just kind of moves on. Gonna have to torture him a little today like they used to. Uh... He's got a can show today. He oh. He's got a bone well, like they used to torture Letterman. Is it, is it true that Tom Snyder is buried under your desk? <laughs> 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 you know, when he got that show, it's like, God damn, come on. Do you remember Tom Schn the the skit Saturday Night Live did? Oh my God, yes. I loved. No Dan wait, Aykroyd. do you know which one I'm talking oh, about? Oh, oh, of course I do. Oh, yeah. No, no, but you get the specific one where a guy. Never mind. Hey, come back, you. Hi, Tom Martino, your troubleshooter. Three zero three seven one three eight two five five. On on YouTube, KV, one of my morons, or Cavi. Set, called somebody a curmudgeon. I don't know if it was me. Yes. Because that's what my wife calls me. As a joke. Because I'm really the opposite of a curmudgeon. 303-713-TALK. Okay, now. Um, here's the deal. I have Steve and Huang back on about the basement. And I want to just mention something here. Because it's really important. Uh... She's going to have a problem here because you, 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 the excuse for not paying can't be I dispute the claim unless you are really on top of it. I mean, most here's the problem. Most of the time when people do insurance repairs, they're in the driver's seat unless you are taking notes and step by step and have enough evidence not to pay, blah, 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 blah. I understand all of that. Now, she also used the excuse she didn't get notified. Okay. I understand that too. That's a good excuse. Now she has been notified. So if you want to pay the bill, will the lawsuit go away, Kwong? I think so. Um, the problem is um, they did a lot of extra work that I didn't, they did not consent with me and the created further damages. And, uh, okay, then here's what you need to do, Kwong. Here's what you really need to do. This is complicated. Okay. If you feel you don't owe the $6,000, you need to hire, it would be best to hire an attorney and fight this with evidence. Here's the problem. You're going to end up paying 6000 to an attorney. It, you're never going to defend yourself for less than five or 6000 Or you can try to represent yeah. yourself. But you need to get another contractor in there who literally goes by the, takes that invoice and says, this was not done. They caused this much damage. They caused this much damage. They did not do this right. They did not do that right. Or you can call them and try to settle for less than 6,000. But 
my prop yeah. here's the main problem they're going to come back and argue well kwang if you thought we did damage and you thought we didn't do the work why did you wait till now to let us know this was way back in june the only reason you're bringing this up now is because you don't want to pay the bill so do you see how this is going to be a problem yes uh, i i heard the office manager saying that they contact me and call me but they call me in and did not left the message but but so Kwan, do it doesn't know. see hold on just stop right there. It doesn't matter. That's not a defense. It doesn't matter if they notified you or not. You're getting notified now. It doesn't matter that you did not get a message. Now, you're, now you have the message. They want $6,000. The question is, what are you going to do about it now? Had they told you four or five months ago that you owed $6,000, would you have paid it? I would have talked to them four or five months ago. I get it. And you would have prevented this lawsuit. I get it completely. You can yes, still talk to them to about it. it. Now, are, are you interested in trying to settle this? I am. Okay. I'll find out. I'll find out if they're okay. interested. Okay. We're not going to do any legal negotiating, but you know what we can do? Deputy Doc, you heard this problem, right? She's disputing some of the work, and she's disputing the damages. I mean, she said they caused damage. Kwong, I'm just going to tell you, it's, why didn't you notify them about the damages before this? Pardon me? Why did you not notify them about the damages they did before this i did i talked to the office manager of all about it good, and um, good. He, deputy doc can you said, call do, do, are you getting the the gist of this um you can hop on the mic can, yeah more or less can, basically she's saying they want an additional six grand she doesn't think she owes it she liked to settle it before it goes to court she thinks they did some damages and so, did some extra work that she did not approve that's it in a nutshell let's call over there to the uh, to the company and see what they have to say hey tom quick quick is it the company or a collection agency right now it's just company. the company i believe okay. kw is construction right, is that who's suing her steve yes Okay, uh, hold on, and that's what we'll do. 303-713-TALK, 713-8255. Frank Duran, the real estate man com will do a market valuation of your home free of charge. What do I mean by that? That means he'll come in and he'll look at your house, the comps, the supply and demand, the interest rates, and decide and help you decide what your house will sell for on the market. And he's pretty dang accurate. No obligation to list, but it gives you good information. 303-920-1622. Frank Duran, the real estate man dot com. You. Okay, okay listen. No, okay, all right. Now, I'm going to fill right. it for Brad because I'm going to get him on in the next hour. I want Kelly to call him. Pat uh, oh, so yeah, you, you pull something up and we'll get O'Brien on for next hour. Okay. We're starting to see road conditions improve throughout the Denver metro for the late morning commute. All right. In southbound Unless back to highway speeds. Through like this, town, it's still a slow drive. Well, well do you just want to do, how many O'Briens do you have a show? Is there one later? You've got, you've got a couple, I don't mean. Uh, callers who've been waiting for quite a while. He, he knows that. And DIA this morning, Pena Boulevard southbound, some significant stop and go between 56th and I-70. Fox 31 pinpoint weather, wintry weather all throughout the day, high of 36, overnight low of 18, partly cloudy skies, things warming up a little bit tomorrow with a high of 46, and we'll be seeing highs in the 60s by the end of the week. The current temperature in Denver is 21 degrees with your impact traffic and weather. Mark Swan at 630 KHOW. Summit Racing has the parts you need to keep your truck rolling right. From custom grills to tonneau covers and everything in between. Shop SummitRacing.com. Use promo code RADIO for $10 off an order of $100 or more. Exclusions apply. Offer ends April 14th, 2024. Renew Home Innovations will do your bathroom shower 
Oh, the conversion they make is beautiful. They take out that old, ugly tub-shower combination, and they put in a big, beautiful rectangle shower, no threshold to trip or walk over. You can use a walker or wheelchair or just walk in. They have perimeter drains, benches, grab bars, soap dishes, where you want them. It's exclusive and custom to you. And by the way, uh, they do it in two or three days. You have 72 months to pay. No maintenance, stone walls, glass panels, no doors or, or curtains needed. RenewHomeInnovations.com, 303-904-2000. DenverRegen.com is doing weight loss at the lowest price I can find anywhere. Semaglutide compounded monthly with all supplies, consultations, everything you need, $250 a month. I don't know how long they can keep these prices, but that's what it is. They even have terzepatide, which is another popular weight loss a drug that they're compounding. Contact them at denverregen.com. Thank you. How much time do I have? Four minutes. Good. I'm going to go get something here. Or something like that. Maybe three and a half. Yeah. Try to hurry back. We'd miss you if you weren't back. Never mind. I'll just wait for the top of the hour. Are you sure? Okay. Which one? On this stupid bathroom door. <laughs> what about the door? <laughs> oh, you hit your funny bone. Yeah, on the bathroom door. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm, like, trying to kick the crap out of myself today. My Lord. Something b bad happened to the middle toilet in there, didn't it? I don't know. There's some... Uh, sign on it that says yeah. out of water i don't use it there was some email this past week about a uh, some sort of like poltergeist in the toilet kind of deal that was you know we Ew. are aware of the situation on the in the bathroom please use the third floor until further notice wow the entire third floor instead of any of the ones on the fourth yep okay Who there knows? was only the one sign on the i one. know i think they took care of whatever the problem was they just probably haunted now with whatever happened fantastic it's kind of hot a poltergeist in the bathroom didn't know pa poltergeists like piss oh yeah they do who know okay okay I'm gonna go back to line one we're done with the – yeah, I'm going to go back to line one. Well, So we're done with the couple. Actually, yeah, tell Cindy and Joe, though, I will get to them immediately okay. after the break. And we are just completely done with Steve and Fang, right? Are we giving them to Deputy Doc, though? Yes, I want Doc to call over to see if he can – to tell them she wants to settle to see if they're willing. Okay. Uh. <laughs> oh my god that's funny uh. Here you go. Oh, no. 630 KHOW, an iHeartRadio station. Hi, Tom Martino here, 303-713-TALK, 713-8255. Melissa, she called in the, earlier in the show, and she said uh, she bought a 2018 Kia Forte. 
February 19th from Southwest Motors in Pueblo. Dealer told her the car was in perfect condition and checked out and put it on the contract. Um, now, I looked at the contract. Did you look at the contract, Melissa? Yes, and that is not the original contract. Well, hold on. It's the only contract that I see. Where's the other contract? So, I don't have the other contract because it's in the vehicle at Southwest Motors. Wait a minute. So you had two contracts, one that said it was in perfect condition, and the other one, this particular one, that says it's sold as is with all of its problems. Yes. But the other one says it's in perfect condition. Yeah, so um, no damage. So previous owners, it was the... Um, no, no, the car fax you're the, talking about? No, not the car fax. It was the um, vehicle history uh, recall disclosure and release of liability. Okay, meaning no previous damage from accidents. Correct. Okay. You don't have anything, though, that says the car was in perfect condition. Here's, why I'm okay. Here's what I'm trying to do. I am actually trying to help you, but you may not think so. Melissa, I can't call the dealer and say, you told her and you gave her a contract saying this car was in perfect condition because you don't have a contract that says it was in perfect condition. You have an as-is contract. And they approved the deal, but you brought the car back because you had trouble. What kind of trouble did you have? If we can prove that they caused the trouble or lied to you, but I don't know if we can. For example, what kind of trouble did you have with this car? Um, I believe it was the mountain bearing. Um, it, was already, it, it was already in one of their certified shops when I purchased it. I purchased it. Um, a week later, I was scheduled to take it into one of their shops here in Alamosa. Okay. What do you want right now? Because I don't think they're going to... Will they undo the deal for you? So based off of Wistera Credit Union, the loan was finalized by them without any... They didn't notify me. They said, we'll give you a they, call. They we'll don't have to notify you, Melissa. Loan. I don't see... Melissa, you are... You're, you can't be helped if all you think is wrong okay let me give you let me tell you what i mean when you buy a car as is you are responsible for all trouble that car goes into all of it number two when you buy a car and make out a finance agreement they don't have to notify you when it's approved they only have to notify you if you're not approved you are trying to make a case but let me just tell you the truth and then we figure out what to do the truth is, you own the car, you can't take it back, and you're responsible for the repairs. That's the God's honest truth. Now, you may not like it, and I don't like it, but we have to deal with the truth first before we figure out what to do. So, that's the truth. And everyone, if you called someone today, if you called a dozen attorneys, they will tell you that's the truth unless for some reason you can prove that they lied to you about that car. If you can, please hang on and let us know how to attack the dealer. As they say, help me help you. What are we doing here? I don't know, but, uh, but I understand. Okay, so. Can oh, she no. help me help her? Tell her. I want her to tell. I want the specifics where they lied to her about the car. And where is the original contract? It's a little like the Book of Mormon. So you don't, you don't believe that I don't have it. So I threw it away. What? So what do you want Brad for? Okay, I only want him. We don't have time right now, so hang on until we have some openings. I'll let you know when to call him. I want to get him on about a discussion about this nationwide scourge. Good morning. Thanks okay. for calling. Uh, he knows what I'm calling about. All right. I'm not going to tell you. 
I'm just we kidding. Don't, we're not I'm asking. calling about the squatting connection we're not asking. problem. We're not asking. I'm sorry. It's all over the country. I love it. It's ridiculous. I know. I mean, we got to go ISIS on these people. You know what I mean? No, seriously, what's happening is unbelievable. And it's at TikTok's telling people how to do it. Right. And we should go grab them and behead them in the front yard, put their heads on a pike and go, nope. What? What? Squatters? We need to kind of go Vlad the Impaler on some of these people and go, here's what happens if you do this. Oh, my God. Shannon. What? Hey, ISIS can do it. Why can't we? Yeah. God damn it. Are they so special? Are you saying they're better than us? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying, Shannon. That's exactly what I was pontificating and talking to you right now. I was talking with a guy from the Pentagon, no kidding, about trying to get logoed swag <laughs> from these different terrorist organizations. And I'm like, <laughs> you know, ISIS must have like fanny packs and hats and stuff. Why not? Such so you want a Hamas shirt? <laughs> at least like a, you know, there's no way they don't have logoed face masks. That'd be kind of fun. Well, who was the, um, gosh, who was the group that was going to turn on Moscow? Russian army turning on Moscow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That guy, the mercenary. Yeah, group. yeah, he got. Yeah, he may go bye bye. His plane blew up in the middle. Yeah, of the that's the what, the, wa the Wagner. The yeah, Wagner there you group. go. There you go. Wagner they make group. a beer. They have a brewery in Germany, <laughs> and so they obviously have shirts and hats. I gotta win that Mega Million thing. I need new teeth. Oh my God! I just that would be my press conference. I'm about <laughs> to make several hookers and a dentist very rich. Oh God! Oh my God! But you were. The strangest individual that would actually walk around with a freaking Hamas shirt. Well, so, so local reporter, where is he at? 31, Fox 31, Jim Hooley. Oh, yeah, yeah. He worked for... Was he He's been a bunch of places, including and not limited to Al Jazeera. <coughs> and he said when he worked for them, one of the swag items they gave him was logoed luggage. And he said, you're out of your goddamn mind if you think I'm going to check my Al Jazeera bags at DIA. Thank you, no. I love free stuff, but yeah, got to draw the line somewhere. Oh, my God, I wouldn't mess with this dude. Look at this guy. The muscle he's got behind him. Look at him. Who is this? They're all turning around. It's Trump. Oh, yeah. But he had attorneys and CPAs and gangsters with him. That's what he needs to start doing. It's just rolling with actual Sopranos. You know? We're going to come out. We're going to bust some kneecaps. Those girls, strong to the whole. Okay. So what do you want me to do with Melissa? Do you want other documentation? Um, Melissa, I want to know if she has specific, if she can prove or if she can tell us when we call the dealer where the dealer lied or cheated her, in what way. So do you want to assign this to somebody? Chopper's out. I could give it to Doc, but he already has a case. I could also give it to Dollar. Well, 
there's no reason to if if she can't if she cannot come up with where they lied to her or to point us in the direction we can't help her i want her to know that so we don't just uh you know i don't know yep And I, I figured it out. Kelly sounds like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer when he covered his nose with mud to try to blend in oh my with God. the other reindeer. Are you, you think I have a funny nose? Shannon, please. I don't have a funny nose. I don't have a funny nose. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He said she likes me. Huh? What? is crying <clears throat> well, let's send dollar out there It's the Troubleshooter Show. Now, Tom Martino. Hi, Tom Martino. 303-713-TALK. 303-713-8255. Welcome to the show. I have Bob Logan with me from Plumline Services. Plumline Services for plumbing, heating, cooling, electric, and drains. And one thing we've always espoused is having, being proactive before the rush. And for some reason... No matter how we preach it, people always wait. So, for example, when it's 96 to 98 degrees, he's going to be inundated with air conditioning calls. Why not call now to see how your air conditioner is doing? Seriously. Now, I will get comments on this. One text saying, Tom, one of the reasons people don't call, ask Bob, is that their systems aren't under strain. Therefore, they don't know if they're up to snuff or not. So if you go out there when they're not up to strain, how, up to, you know, how do you know if they're, if they're good or bad? Do you, don't you have to have the heat to tell? And, and we do a full inspection, whether it's a, the furnace or the air conditioner. We check temperatures, pressures. But, but can you tell it's going to crap out with hot weather? You, you can't always tell. It's... it's uh, you know, there are indications um, on older furnaces and air conditioning systems that haven't been maintained that um, uh, through, our, through the tools that, that we use that we can indicate whether it's going to have challenges or not. Now, we can't tell you specifically it's going to last another six weeks or six months or six years, but uh, we can give you um, options for repairs and being proactive. So typically when we go out and evaluate a system, there's usually an immediate repair and then, um, and then we'll look for items that we can be proactive about. And, uh, and, and does that usually catch things before the heat? It, it does. A, a lot of times people can prevent a breakdown, and that's really what we're, what we're trying to accomplish. And in some cases, replacement is the only option or the best option. So, again, our, our job when we go out is to do a complete diagnosis of the system, 
give the homeowner some options. At least that way they're prepared with the information and they can also plan financially for it. Do you think people can actually save money putting in a new high efficiency system or is the payback too many years? I mean, I mean bottom line, what, what do you think? It, it, it depends on what they're replacing. And, like if they're um, replacing an old piece of crap air conditioner with a new one, yeah, they probably should put they, in the furnace too. Typically so. they will get a payback. Now, uh, again, um, the, the usage of their system, how high their utility bills are, how many people are in the, in the it home. It all depends, right? It, it all depends. But you will see savings um, on your utility bills. And so, again, depending on how long you're going to stay in the, in the house, it, it may pay for itself, but it would certainly offset some of the payments. And we offer financing on everything as well. So, so it will certainly reduce some of the, the payments by having those lower utility bills. 303-713-TALK, 713-8255. Joe, you've been waiting a while. And uh, did, did the woman stay on with her used car who said she claims it said it was perfect? See, her credibility is kind of shot with me. She said, Tom, the contract said it was perfect. The contract said they checked it out and it was perfect. She has no such contract. She says that's not the main contract. There's another contract inside the car. You know, what did she say, Kachina, as far as prove, can we snag the dealer on how they lied to her? They sold it as is, they said, with all problems. That's what they said. So what did she say? Did you just hang up on her or did she hang up? What's going on? No, she's trying to get a little bit more information Good. Good. about the whole uh, situation so that we can assist her further Good. but she knows that she needs that additional people information. when thank you thank you kachina when, when people buy a used car as is that doesn't mean the dealer has a light has a license to lie to you see as is means here's what as is means as represented that's what it means but as represented you have to prove how it was represented the best way to do that is in writing okay look back to the phones joe what is this scam yes. it's really not a scam all the reason i'm calling uh, is that there's somebody on Lauda air force base oh yeah that's right you, i'm sorry mark was doing the show and and you said that um Buckley Air Force Base is holding is 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 has kidnapped Lowry, someone. Lowry, Lowry, I'm sorry. Lowry, Lowry has kidnapped someone. It's not kidnapped. They're not letting her relate, get out of the base. That's there's nothing about the scam here. Now, is this uh, Joe? Is this person at Lowry a member of the armed forces? No, she's an independent contract financial contractor to teach an officer how to invest into cryptocurrency so they can stay with the Air Force. They did, she does have the Aurora Police Department on the base now since 10 o'clock, trying to resolve it. So, so when you say she, she wasn't allowed to, where is she from? How did they, where, where is she from? Let's start there. She's with the company from the UK. They hired her. She's originally from Europe, uh, Poland. She came here in about a year ago with a military base as an independent contractor through her company to teach an officer in Europe and in the USA that brought the project here. And they teach her. Okay, so she was, to, she, to she, she was hired to teach military people. What was yes. she hired to teach them? Financial independence. Okay, got it. it was, now, now, so she was housed on the base. Is that right? Yes. Okay. And then what happened? She wanted to leave to to like to to go and sightsee, or she wanted to go home, or what? No, she wanted to go and establish and leave the base and leave the company, and she resigned from the company and. They open a business for herself individually. She can do better than the military. I get it. So she so wanted to quit her job and leave the and base. She did. And she, she did resign from the company, but the military base personnel is denying she even exists on the base. Well, That's hold on then. Why couldn't she just walk off or drive off the base? Well, first of all, She's a immigrant. Second, 
they told her back in June, around June of last year. By the way, know, being an immigrant, that's that's funny. You're saying normally if she's an immigrant, they'll put up a sign and give her money. I mean, I, I don't understand what you mean she's an immigrant. Immigrants, I, I don't know if you if you realize this in Denver, no, she's, she's uh, they're welcome. Immigrant. She's not an immigrant. Hey, Tom. She's, she's, hold on. Just no, hold on. Uh, Joe, she resigned yeah. and could, she could... And she wanted to live in Colorado and start her own business. Okay, yeah. why didn't she just do that? Did they literally force her to stay there? Yes. Why? By demanding, by demanding the twelve hundred and fifty dollars pass to get out of the base. That's how it started. Now, what is a pass for? To get out of the base. That's a, that's a, It's a fictitious, fictional fee they made up my understanding okay so how are and you talking to I her, her how that. are you talking to her um, they give her a military phone it's only allowed to do texting she cannot do video and how did she meet she you joe uh, it's gonna sound like a scab there's so many online what's her name lena filipino Okay, now let me ask you something. You, you hold on, number, hold on. How you, did you? How did she contact you? On the, on the dating app, online. On a dating app. Okay. So, 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 did she ask you for help? Yes. And what kind of help does she want from you? Well, the money she was getting from her company, then. It was all deposited with the company for some reason. Okay, so and what did she want from you? What does she want from you? She wanted help with the 1250 to okay. get her out okay. of the Okay, it's a base. scam. It's a scam. Hey, Tom, he's already given her $11,000. It's a scam, brother. You have been scammed. You know that, right? <clears throat> I know that. I, I'm not concerned about the 11000 well, What do you mean you're not concerned? You were scammed. The woman is scamming you. Why? Joe, uh, Mr. Martino, I'm beyond that point. Okay, She's now what do you base. want? The Aurora put, Aurora put, okay, I did, after I talked to you how, uh, uh, on Friday, I did mail a document signed by the colonel and the chief officer on the base. They signed the contract. They're requesting 1670 to letter of the base. Joe, Every time I Joe. Have, Joe, do you realize this woman does not exist? No. Can I'll not ask you to feed and help? And I know there's so many scandals. Joe, we to believe this and woman this, uh, does not exist. Can, how about the two names on the on the document from the DOD? They they both signed. If you can get your uh, now, how did you, did you see these documents? She, I, she did uh, text it to me, and I did text it to you. Okay, okay, after okay. Listen, Joe, I'm sorry. I, I am with Joe. You. Joe, you're not no, listening. No, you're okay. Joe, you have been suckered by a scam, okay? The woman does not exist. This is a scam. It has scam written all over it. I can tell you, she says, wait a minute. I've been hired to teach military people financial independence. I am on the base at Lowry. They won't let me leave. I quit my job, and they won't let me leave. I'd love to come out and meet you, but I have to pay for this pay. You have already given her how much money? About 11000 Now, Joe, honest to God, seriously, you do realize you were scammed, right? And that this woman does not exist, right? Um, I have other sources on the base. I've talked Joe, to Joe, you've okay. never talked to anyone else on the base directly. I'll guarantee it. And in fact... I guarantee this woman doesn't exist. Who did you talk to on the base that you can verify was truly on the base? Who did you talk to? And a contractor on the base. One time her phone broke down and she had to use somebody else's phone. Who's the contractor? And after three months. Who's the contractor? I don't have it. I have it on the phone. I Joe, can apply you. Joe, I have no how, Joe, how old are you right now? How old are you? 59. How old? 
Five nine. Five nine. Five Are you, nine. Have you ever suffered from any mental illness? No. Okay. No, no, I, no, no. Why are you, say. why do you believe, listen, why do you believe this? Please tell me why you believe it. And this is what I love about you because you asked that a question. There's document, I did send it to your health office, signed by the colonel and that. If you can verify, let your deputy to see if those two officers exist on the base and they deny she exists on the base, then I'll I, I leave it alone. Okay, Kachina, do we have that document he's talking about? Tom, ask him how old his, uh, this woman is. How old is she? It doesn't matter the age she's 31 how years old. old. It doesn't matter the age. 31. Did she send you a picture? Yes. Okay, can you send that to us? You have it. Okay, Kachina, get me all this information. 303-713-8255. Hi, it's Mandy Connell. Join my friends Gary Bell and Brad. Oh, did I write Fix It and Frank? I didn't write Fix It and okay, Frank. Okay, hold you on. Do Never mind. Hold on. I, I will do whatever it takes. Okay. Okay, just be frank. Here you go. I got it. Go. Okay, let's talk about Frank Duran, the real estate man.com. Frank is doing market valuations of homes right now. Now, now he'll list your home if you want him to. He's adept at doing that and has shown he can sell them faster and for more money than the market average for sure. But if you want to know what it will sell for first and get an idea what you can afford if you want to move out of state or whatever, Ask him for the free market valuation with no obligation. Frank knows after 30 years how to price a home and what it will sell for. Frank Duran, the real estate man.com. 303-920-1622. One clear choice garage doors. The garage door company you want at your home. Why? Because they're open 24-7. All of their prices are on their website. Beware of imposters nowadays. People are getting a pickup truck or a station wagon or an SUV and calling themselves garage door experts. They're not. One Clear Choice Doors is actually authorized by most factories and can fix your door, your opener, or any part of it. OneClearChoiceDoors.com, 720-370-3987. Awesome. Thank There's, you, Tom. Uh, what's that? Yeah. Good what's, job. So he did send something. We'll try to pass it on. But I deal with this probably eight or nine times a week. It's great. It's, it's my actual hobby, messing with these West Africans who need $30 to come see Does you, Does Joe baby. really believe this woman is in love with him? Yes. And one of our favorites is, is he really saying Lowry? Because it hasn't been an actual base yes. for 30 years. That's true, too. I was wondering about that. Does he understand that? No. No. Do you want do you want us to talk to him off the air? No, I'm going to tell him that. So Yeah, look up when Lowry closed up and it's so you have to be 30 been years ago. It, it, do you like have it, Do you have any of the emails from her from him? It's for, just a screenshot. I just sent both of them to you. Thank you. Uh, by my email? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, anytime I get into one of these things with these West African guys <laughs> who are usually like in their teens and they're all, you know, there's 80 of them in an apartment and they always have a ceiling fan. It's a long story. But um, I always say, listen, I can't be with a woman who isn't independent enough to afford $30 worth of gas to come see me. I understand you want to make lovey lovey a long time, but I need a woman who has her poop in a group. This will, oh, this is so. You outrageous. know, trust me, baby. No, it's not. It's not trust. It's just I, you know, so outrageous. And I'm the same age, and so I could imagine falling into it. It's fun for me. It's fun. It's a hobby, but I couldn't imagine taking it seriously because they all have the same thing, and they send you photos of somebody who's you know training in Afghanistan or some crap. I was out on maneuvers today. Well, thank you so much for the service to this country. If you can't connect with me on a live video call and I can see who you are, then F you in an area that's effable. 
You're uneffable in every way. So did you try to call D because she said she was dealing with a bathroom flood? So we'll call her tomorrow. Okay? If you're talking to Kelly, she's obviously not here. Kelly is not here right now. Please leave your message at the tone. By the way, um, ah, shut up. What? Oh, nothing. You're doing great. I mean. We've been told to keep telling you that. Okay, from the nursing home. Yeah. <laughs> so Kelly's back. What did, if what, she'll what stop do laughing, need? what do you Kelly D. Her? was dealing with a bathroom flood. She didn't answer, did she? D? No, I left her a message. Good. She, uh, let's, tr- let's just do it tomorrow. And I got to give Joe a ration of crap. <laughs> he's not really being logical right now. No, here we go. Not. What's wrong with you, Kelly? Denver's talk station. Online at khout.com. All right. I looked over all of this, all of this information that he sent us. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, what a scam this guy has fallen for. What a freaking scam. I hope he trusts me. Joe? Turn that off. Joe? Yes. Yes. Let me just explain this to those listening. Joe says he met a woman on a dating app, said she was commissioned or hired by the government as a contractor to teach military people how to be financially independent at Lowry. And uh, she wanted to quit her job and leave the base. She did quit her job. She wanted to leave the base, but they won't let her without paying for a base pass. And... um, she asked him for money. He has sent her 11000 so far, and she wants to get established, of course, and he's 59, and she's in her 30s, and he thinks this is a romantic thing. She sent him pictures. And um, K- Kelly, did you send me the photographs of, uh, or the pictures? I, photographs, I, I sound I like I sent you man. the screenshots what? of what I have. I don't think he sent a picture. No, he didn't send a picture, but the people that you say are on the base, they don't even exist in the military database, according to my source. And Lowry Air Force Base is not even operational and hasn't been for years. So did you even think about that, that it's not even a base? No one is working there. I don't know if I have the right name. I drove on the base on 6th Avenue. There's a a gate. It's a whole base all around there in Aurora, in Denver. I drove there a couple times. There's a whole fence. It's a huge base. It's a mil- Air Force military. I drove personally. Shannon, what is he talking about? What area? It's in East Denver on 6th Avenue. I think the address is 18300. Yeah, formerly Lowry. Of- what? He's saying it's an operational it's base. It doesn't matter the name, but the base is there now. It's been there for years. The base actually closed in September of 94. It is absolutely closed in 1994, and there is no activity. The former base's history, it's been redeveloped. It's now Wings Over the Rockies Air and Space Museum, where it once was. Listen, I can't help mental illness, okay? I'm I'm not going to keep doing this, all right? It was fun in the beginning, but Joe... I'm sorry. You're a lonely old man. Actually, you're younger than I am. But but you're lonely. You're you're you've lost eleven thousand dollars, and you have been scammed. I am so sorry. Okay, please don't send any money and stop communicating with this woman. And Joe, if you send me her picture, I will do a reverse image search. Okay. And I'll even further prove it to you. It is a scam. If you want to send somebody money, listen. Hello, Joe. Send me some money. I love you. My name is Thomasina. I would love to get about five grand right now. And then I'd be able to get an apartment. And we can get jiggy. Come on, man. Come on, people. 
Use your common sense. Even Deputy Doc wouldn't fall for that. And he is a horny old man. Cindy, what's going on with you? Oh, I need some help with some white-collar crime, and I'm Uh-oh. hoping you're the person for Crap. it. Crap. <laughs> white-collar crime. What's going on? Well, that's what I call it. Yeah. Um, there's a business in town, uh, well, in the state, actually, who um, sells products for home improvement. I don't know if you want me to Yes, of course. Name tell, me, tell me what you're talking about. Go ahead. So uh, there's a garage door company. Who and is the garage it? Garage door company. It's American Overhead Garage Door, owned by a Gary DeJean. Okay, American Overhead Garage Door, and why do you think they're a scam? They have uh, collected over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in deposits over an eight-month period. From who? And from a hundred and eight individuals. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Where are you learning all of this? He's filed for chapter 11. How did you learn all of this about the money? Where are you getting your information? From the bankruptcy papers that he filed. Okay. Are you one of them who paid a deposit? I am. Okay. Wow. How much did you pay? We paid $4,300. And do you think he knew he was going bankrupt when he did this? Absolutely. Okay, Not now, only if, hold on. Know I, because- listen, if you contact, see, here's the system. When someone files for bankruptcy, there is a trustee, and that trustee is supposed to examine the bankruptcy to make sure it is legit. If it's not... May I interrupt you? Go ahead. May I interrupt you? I started with that. I was told I had to file a motion. I filed a motion. The motion for the investigation went to the U.S. trustee, Allison Goldenberg. Allison Goldenberg is considering an investigation. Okay. There now listen, Cindy, by the way, Cindy, if there is fraud and yeah. corruption, usually the individual yeah. creditors do not have to take legal action. It's up to the trustee will usually do it. Can I just say something? I really want to say this because it's truly yeah. important. I know yeah. for sure that the bankruptcy system does not want a fraud to file, and here's why. The way the system is set up, the trustees actually, the trustees actually get paid for what they get from the creditor. So if they believe the creditor is hiding money or cheating, they get a commission for recovering it. That's why it's set up that way. They're independent trustees appointed to the case, they're local attorneys. Then the U.S. trustee's office is a government person, and they want to go after these people. Now, listen, I don't know if, if, if you don't think it's going to happen. When was, the, when was the bankruptcy actually filed? The bankruptcy was filed on the 14th of September. We were notified in December. December. I filed an objection to the plan in December. Uh-huh. I filed an adversary motion. Got it. That's, and January. you're doing everything the right way. What I want to know is this. Are other creditors doing the same thing? I have now gotten a group of 20 of us together. Um, a lot of the addresses on the matrix have come back as bogus. So he hasn't even notified all of these people, and I'm getting pushback from the trustee. That's what I need to Now, wait a minute. Why would the trustee not want you to go through with this? Tell me. I don't understand it. I don't either. That's why I'm calling you. The guy lists his home address as Honduras, and he's allowed to be a debtor in possession of his business and continue his business. We caught him trying to sell his vehicles. I took a picture. I sent it to the U.S. trustee. He said, oh, we stopped him. Do you have a case number? I do. Give it to me. Case number 23-14137. 
Okay, I want to get on one of our bankruptcy attorneys. I, well, actually, let's get on, let's get on um, Mike Wink or Gigi Wink. I would like to ask them a question about this. You hold on, all right? I have... Yeah? Okay. What were you going to say? I have contacted... Well, I've contacted at least 20 attorneys to help us, and because everyone's deposit is between the $1,000 and $13,000 mark, they all say, hey, it's not worth it. You're going to spend more in uh, getting well, an attorney well, well, than on. you are. Hold in- on, hold on. That is actually not yeah. true. If you all do it as a group, you can chip in for it. So I don't understand. Nope. Just wait a yeah, second. Everyone is saying, hey, you know, I already spent 2000 bucks on a deposit. I don't want to spend another 500 bucks on an attorney. Yeah, but how, if you have 20 of them, you have 20. I have 20 of them. You shouldn't yeah. have. So how did you figure 500? I got 20 each? of us. And we, yeah, we're over uh, $55,000 in deposits between the 20 of us. So what makes you think? I got one lady who is an, an 84-year-old lady gave him $1,469. It's okay. elder abuse. Well, what is this guy's name? Gary DeJong, D-E-J-O-N-G. He did it one other time in California, so he knows the system. No, I don't doubt it, but usually the U.S. attorney will, uh, the U.S. uh, trustee's office will do something about it. But I want you to hang on. I want to talk to our bankruptcy expert just as a, just to see what they think, okay? I don't think they're going to, they won't probably do an adversarial action, but they probably have some advice on this. Hold on, 303-713-TALK, 303-713-8255. ProBid Energy is doing solar systems. The net to you after tax credits, 21,000 with battery backup, ProBidEnergy.com. Dot com and they have commercial rebates as well to make your system near zero probitenergy.com Alrighty. KHOW Denver 630 KHOW and iHeart Radio station download the free iHeart Radio app for all your yeah, music radio and podcasts what's that impact traffic this report is sponsored by it's Jackson jammed. Hewitt. It's it matters who does your taxes. Things starting to clear up on the Denver roads and freeways for the 11 o'clock hour. I-25 north and southbound back to highway speeds through town. The same can't be said for south of town. You're seeing sub-highway speeds on I-25 north and southbound between Castle Rock and Colorado Springs. Back to town over on the east and I-70 westbound. We've got some stop and go at Mississippi. No word of an accident. We will keep you updated. I-70 east and westbound flowing free to and from DIA. Fox 31 pinpoint weather. Cloudy skies out there today. High of 36 after this morning's wintry weather. Overnight low of 18. Tomorrow partly cloudy skies with a high of 46. Current temperature in Denver is 24 degrees. With your impact traffic and weather, Mark Swan, 630K Help. Why are people saying Hugh yeah to Jackson Hewitt? When you switch to Jackson Hewitt, they will beat what you paid last year on tax prep. Even if you filed online. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. You know, um, when we talk about solar, Red Rocks, Roof and Solar, they do commercial buildings. If you own a commercial business, they do residential too, but listen to this. If you own a commercial building and you're paying hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, they can not only wipe out your electric bill, but they have shown me where they are actually overbuilding the solar system on purpose, getting federal grants along with the tax credits that pay 100% of the cost, and then you can make $100,000 or more a year in addition to not having an electric bill selling back to the grid. Your net savings is not only the electric bill of a couple hundred grand, but another hundred you're making. We have some companies making $300,000 a year. That's on solar. That's right. You need to find out more. Red Rocks Roof and Solar, and of course, they do residential as well. Red Rocks Roof and Solar, redrocksrs.com, 303-704-2449. Thank you, sir. Four and a half. That interesting. Listen to this. Electric utilities, 274000 a year, right? About 200 of that was electric. 200, giant bill. He overbuilt his solar system, put in his pocket... Um, 
grants $14,000 after grants and everything. So he was net 14 ahead, wiped out his bill, 200,000 a year, and is selling back to the grid at another 200. His net is $400,000. Wow. Think about that. That's why I asked Hey, Tom. Him. What? What? I got to ask this about, now I, I should probably ask this when we have Red Rocks or somebody on. Is there any sort of difference in the tax situation or uh, or anything if you have the solar panels not mounted on the house? No. no. I heard there was some sort of crazy loophole where you can get away with, with stuff. Hey, Tom. If it, huh? Tom? Hold on, hold on, oh. Shannon. No, you can yeah, get a hold of what you can get away with what? Something crazy. I saw some guy who had truck mounted panels do a video in which he was talking about not having to work with the PUC on on anything and there was different tax Oh no, I don't know anything situation. about that. No. Okay, I'll ask Red Rocks. What's that, Doc? What were you gonna say? Oh, one of my buddies just texted that this guy Joe probably went to Buckley and not Lowry. You know what? I picked up after and talked to him to try to talk him out of continuing with this since messing with West Africans is my uh, <laughs> my amateur sport. And he said, I went to a gate and, and there were police and they wouldn't let me in. I said, was it Buckley? Oh, yes, probably Buckley. So, so he agreed that he might have had the wrong name. Lowry, Buckley. Slight but, difference. But so I I got his cell number and I'm gonna start texting as the girl. So. Oh, listen, I want to become a girl. I'm I know. Money. Oh my God, eleven grand. Yeah. Listen, you know how much toothpaste eleven grand buys? I'd do awful stuff for that much. <laughs> hey, did Mark Mark texted me fake call? Does he think? Did, does he think that guy is not real? Yeah, he thinks that Joe is made up. Oh, I okay. Th I told him it's it's not a crank call. Uh, he wouldn't go through all of this just to pull our chain. No, I mean, the guy was definitely taken by a uh, a scammer, yeah. but I don't think he's trying to scam us. But he also went on under a different name on Friday. Yeah. Do you think then... he's a scam, Kelly? No, 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 no he's not a scam. I, I think he's truly fell for it, just like poor Lucretia did. Yeah, he really wants to resolve this. And I actually said to him, is there anything that you could hear that would talk you out of this? And he said, just talk to those people who signed that document. I said, what if they don't exist? Can I talk yeah. to them? If I talk to the military police at Buckley and get them to confirm that this sort of stuff happens all the time, Maybe uh, we can talk him out of it. But he says he'll stop sending money. All right. We'll see. That's a pretty hard itch to stop scratching. Hey, we got Michael. Who? Michael Wink. Oh, you got a wink. Do you have any specials you want to talk about? A wink and a nudge. Uh, we do have our... Remember that? Buy an air conditioner, get a free or... furnace. And we can do a BOGO on tune-ups as well. Kelly is buying no drinking and I'm getting driving. My I told you I'm getting my security oh. license. You know, this right. The company got so big. God, my brain. Hey, Mike, you know, it's Kelly over at Martino. No, How are you? So we have somebody who. Um, it's 16400. Denver's talk station, 630 KHOW. Hi, Tom Martino, your troubleshooter, 303-713-TALK, 713-8255. Now listen, um, uh, this is a crazy show today, and I still wanted to get Brad O'Brien on about something, but I'm not sure I'll be able, he, he's right now tied up on a call, we might have to call him later, and that's a whole different story uh, on uh, some real estate squatters, but um, now, I, I have, uh, Mike, is Mike Wink on right now? Can I talk to him? Is he there? Yep, we got him. 
Hey, Mike Wink is with uh, the Wink Law Firm. They do uh, bankruptcy. And Mike, I, you know, obviously you don't do adversary because you are in bankruptcy and you help people file bankruptcy. You're an advocate for those people truly in debt that need help uh, and businesses. But do you also do adversarial work uh, for people who want to go and file adversarial actions in a bankruptcy court? No, we don't. We don't work on the creditor side, just okay. the debtor side. Now. But you yeah. do have a, probably a lot of knowledge of it. And I would say, Mike, sure. even being a bankruptcy attorney advocating for debtors, you're not in favor of fraud, for God's sakes, right? I mean, obviously. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you'll yeah. kick him out of your office. I know that because I know you as a person. Now, I, I just want to bring something up with Cindy, if she can come up right now. And, and Mike, I'm not asking you to weigh in on this, but there is a bankruptcy going on involving a garage door company called American Overhead Garage Door Company. And off the air, I've looked this guy up, and apparently this is not the first time he has done this. And this time around, well, he's done it in other states. This time around, he's collected about a quarter of a million dollars in deposits, one of them from Cindy, and he's filed a bankruptcy. And the thing yep. is... And um, he collected those deposits eight months to two days before he filed that period of time right okay so people okay eight Cindy. months in advance they never got their product to eight months in advance and and yeah. uh can we bring up a third caller as well jim jim are you also one of these customers that put down a deposit with this guy yeah we we put uh our company put down about eight thousand dollars on two doors over a year ago Okay. Now, Mike, what does a trustee look at when consumers put down deposits and someone goes bankrupt? Do they even care that, that yeah. they, do they look at the, I mean, if the guy says, I don't know, I just the, went broke. The trustee, did, the trustee, yeah, the trustee's generally not going to pursue, the trustee's role is more to take assets from the debtor if they can and distribute them to creditors, but they're not going to necessarily pursue an individual creditor's rights. And if you are if you are a customer to a contractor, garage door or whatever, and you pay and you don't get any work done, that's civil theft. And that is a basis to object to discharge in the bankruptcy. But what if he so said, Hey, I had I can't help it, I had financial trouble. It doesn't matter. If he took the money and he didn't do the work, that's civil theft. If it's you know, the work was done, but maybe it was shoddy. Well, the, the more gray area you get to, the harder it is for a creditor to object. But in cases, and I, in, in cases where, you know, I, I do represent contractors sometimes that have this happen, and my view of them is they never meant for this to happen, right? Like, it's, it's a, a job goes bad, you start using the next job to pay for the old job, and then you get in this snowball that eventually comes crashing down where you know you've ended up taking money from people and you can't fulfill the work and when those people object in the bankruptcy i tend to just encourage my client to settle we don't want to go in front of a judge talking about how you took money from somebody and didn't do a darn thing right rather we're going to just say hey i will agree to owe you so there are a number of good creditors attorneys out there and if these people you know paid money and got nothing they certainly have a good basis to object to discharge in the bankruptcy. Now, Mike... But who will help us? Oh, the hold on. Court he's saying you have to hire... He's have saying to you have to hire someone. But, Mike, real quick, yeah. real quick, and, and we'll address that, Cindy, and I do have somebody we can call on that, a creditor attorney. Okay. But, Mike, I, I need to ask you something. I have known trustees to go after debtors for fraud. And, 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 they, and to say, you know, what did you do with the money? Don't they do that? Won't they want to know what he did with the two hundred fifty grand? Yes, yes. So, so that's a good point. But but there's a different um, end game for the trustee. The trustee's going after assets. So depend. I mean, if this guy took you know two hundred fifty grand, but he did it over the course of two or three years, no. and he actually is somewhat legitimate, he may have just lived on it and paid creditors, and you know he's trying to survive. And then, but that does seem like a lot. Uh, but in any case, th there will be questions about what happened to the money. But but the trustee is not going to defend the creditor's 
discharge, right? It's not going to object to discharge for the creditors. There's certain cases where they might if it was real egregious. So then they'd be going after the whole thing and saying, you're not entitled to discharge. Exactly. Period. And that not that yeah, called a yeah. 1975 or something? What is that? Well, that would be um, uh, uh, basically it's based on what we call substantial abuse. Yeah. Um, so you, you would you'd be denied discharge writ large based on substantial abuse. Now, so is a trustee that, that disincentivized kind of, kind of from doing that because rare. they – if a, if 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 a trustee says you're not entitled to a discharge, do they lose their commission? Uh, no, they could still administer an estate. Yeah, they don't lose anything. Anyway, um, but, I appreciate yeah, your, but, your comment, Mike, and I realize that that you know we're looking at it from this side. Three zero three four one zero seventeen twenty is Wink and or the Wink Law Firm. And by the way, I'm going to now come back for the other side and figure out what to do right after this. Now, Impact Traffic. This report is sponsored by Summit Racing Equipment. Things starting to clear up on the Denver roads and freeways for the 11 o'clock hour. I-25 north and southbound back to highway speeds through town. The same can't be said for south of town. You're seeing sub-highway speeds on I-25 north and southbound between Castle Rock and Colorado Springs. Back to town over on the east and I-70 westbound. We've got some stop and go at Mississippi. No word of an accident. We will keep you updated. I-70 east and westbound flowing free to and from DIA. Fox 31 pinpoint weather. Cloudy skies out there today. High of 36 after this morning's wintry weather. Overnight low of 18. Tomorrow partly cloudy skies with a high of 46. Current temperature in Denver is 24 degrees with your impact traffic and weather. Mark Swan, 630K Help. Summit Racing is the parts you need to keep your truck rolling right. From custom grills to tonneau covers and everything in between. Shop SummitRacing.com. Use promo code RADIO for $10 off an order of $100 or more. Exclusions apply. Offer ends April 14th, 2024. Sheridan Looking Auto for a Tech. Medicare plan that fits. I screwed up. I screwed up. As a plan for you. I put the paws in the wrong spot. Ages and ages of Medicare. There's a reason more people count on United Healthcare. For well, I have to pee, and I'm not thinking clearly. You know what? Colorado. God. Or more. Call United Healthcare too. today. Okay, here you go. Ten away. Meet UHC. That's one five. Meet UHC again. That's one eight five five M E E T U H C. Sheridan Auto Tech. The people you can trust. Uncle Kevin and his team over at Sheridan Auto Tech. Dot com, the people you can trust to do the right things. You know what? Sheridan has value, convenience, honesty, integrity, knowledge, everything you want. I urge you to go there for minor or major maintenance, including electrical. 303-455-7242. On Colfax, west of Wadsworth, 303-455-7242. Keel and Park are estate planning attorneys. So what is an estate planning attorney? It's someone who looks at your life and says, this is what you need to transition your business, to leave stuff to your kids, to protect your heirs, to do whatever you want, whether it's a trust and a will or just a will or payable on death certificates, beneficiaries, deeds, things that make the passing easier and gives you a peace of mind while you're alive knowing that your assets will not be squandered at that you have provided for loved ones and that's Keel and Park. Free consultations always and then flat rate pricing. You cannot beat that. Keel and Park. Law KP dot com. Nine seven zero eight one eight eight one nine eight. Sorry, go ahead. Did you take when I paused, no, you're did good. you go? You're on. Huh? You're good. You're on. Oh, okay. Like I said, lawkp.com. Nine seven zero. 818-8198. Sorry. Finally, wait. That was my fault because I pause a lot, bro. I know, and I normally stop, but then I screwed up and we're all good. Mark is convinced all of those texts and everything that guy is doing is all fake. No, no, no. Muhammad's pretty serious. Muhammad? Joe. Oh. Joe Hamid. Oh, okay. Maybe he Joe just has a it. sixth sense of humor and uh, weird hobbies like Shannon. Well, it, oh, it is. It's wrong what I do. Oh, my God, it is so wrong. And I've had these people break down and do an actual live video call with me, and I see that it is 
a room full of guys sitting there on cell phones trying to scam people out of money in some little village in Ghana. And, I, and I've said to them, I, I know the only... scams are just terrible. Terrible. And I say, I understand that the only other option in most of these areas is mining. And that is a death sentence in Ghana. You know, because they're out there digging up gold and cobalt and God knows what else. And they don't last. And so if a group of, they're usually like early 20s, it's just sitting on the bed in, in some little hut, six of them on cell phones, trying to get money out of people. I get it. If I had any ambition, I'd do the same thing. God dang. 11 grand. Man. I got that. I have that stupid. Mark class. says it's not real. He doesn't think it's real. Well, that's because he's fallen for it before. Like Irby's work. Suze is a scammer. What's that? Like Irby's work it too. He's walking around quickly. That's his job. I said that to him the other day. He goes zipping into the elevator. I go, you're always walking so quickly. Do you feel the elevator's a waste of time? Zip, 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 zip. Trying to look busy. Zip, zip, zip. Oh, my God. Okay, so what does he want to do with Cindy and Jim? Are we just letting him go bye-bye? About Cindy and Jim. Yeah, what are we doing with Cindy and Jim? Did you want to put a bow on this uh, bankruptcy thing with them? Mr. Martinez. What? I'm sorry, what? What did you want to do with Cindy and Jim? You wanted to direct them to some sort of legal help? Um, oh, oh, oh. No, I, I want to talk about that one more time coming Here we back. Come. An iHeartRadio station. Hi, Tom Martino, your troubleshooter, 303 talk Now, Cindy, the government will only yes, go sir. to a certain extent to stop a creditor, right. to, excuse me, to stop someone who files a bankruptcy, yep. and Jim as well, um, and then it might yep. be fraud. The, the U.S. A trustee's office is usually pretty good if people start yelling and screaming, fraud, fraud, fraud. That's one p- p- possibility. But Cindy and Jim both, if you can't get people to chip in for an attorney, it, you're going to have to get, if you got like 50 people together, you could really, really get the money together. It's not going to cost that much for an adversarial action if you all do it together. And I suggest you, you uh, start with someone like, um, let's see, who, who would, maybe F- Frank Ball would, or I, I don't know, who does creditor, who does work going after people? I think... Frank Ball might do that. He's a creditor's attorney. He is a collection attorney. And, and let's just ask him, Kachina, and if he would do that, okay? And then if you guys just want to hang up and listen, we can have him weigh in on this and give out his contact information. Um, Kachina, you got and that. Jim, I don't, I don't um, have Jim on my list. He's, he's not one of my 20. Oh, good. So, hey, Jim, you got to con- give your number to oh. Kachina, and she'll give it to Cindy, so you get on the list. And then, okay, hang on. We got a lot more. Don't, don't go away. I mean, you guys can, can stay on hold. And then I will go to Bob from LEM Landscaping. And then, Jennifer, I'm so sorry. I haven't forgotten about you. Bob's been waiting longer. Bob, what's going on? Buddy, I want to give you a, a heads up. Mark did this from last week. Uh, so a gentleman come, called in to get a, and he said he needed a new deck, and I heard the price of it. So no, no, I, was, I think uh, I think I I think uh, I, I was looking at that. Uh, Jerry. Oh, okay. Jerry called. Yeah. It was looking at yep, brand new decks and patio. A yep. ten by eighteen so for me- twenty one thousand. Mark from Total yep. uh, Genesis Total Exterior said it sounded like a lot. I'm going to let you weigh in on this coming up. Or you went out if you went out and looked at it. I'm Tom Martino, 303-713 Talk, 713-825. We also have PlumlineServices.com with us, 303-586-1086. We're going to talk to them about the upcoming heating season. Right now. Thank you, Cindy. Yes, yeah, Cindy. So Cindy. the gentleman's name is Jim, J-I-M, Vitro, V-I-T-R-O, 
And okay, his now. phone number is 719-491-2050. Then I also want to give you Frank Ball's number. He is our collection attorney. And hang on, just I don't bear with that. me here one second. <laughs> Okay, try calling Frank. His number is 303-669-7000. And just when you leave a message or whatever or talk to them, make sure that you let them know that you are on with us. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, take care. Bye. I might go get some water. Um, bottle here, but. Good afternoon. Thanks for calling the Tom Martino Show. Suspects facing terrorism charges after the deadly terrorist attack on a concert in Moscow. ISIS claiming responsibility for Friday's attack, reportedly 137 people. This is ABC News. In the Texas Panhandle, deadly fire has been followed by extreme winds and now the possibility of a blizzard. Last month, the town of Perryton was filled with smoke from a million acre wildfire. Okay, have you got on our referral list? Referralist.com. Okay, I'm going to have to put you on hold, Miss. Okay. Good afternoon. Thanks for calling. That's on Martino Show. That's when I started Meals on Wheels. America, let's do lunch. Oh, this is a follow-up? I think I left you a message. And when did you call last? Hold on for me.
is an increase over a five-year period. That rate is now down to 62%. That's the latest. I'm Chad Bauer. Every three months. And then I do supplements. And then I do all my prescriptions that I need. I don't need a lot, but, you know, my testosterone and hormones. But I'm such a... When people say to me, you can't depend on fortune of food. I wish you could, but you can't. You cannot do it. You have to be proactive and counteract our environment. You've got to do it. That's why you and I stay so young. But like with supplements, I used to do supplements, but then I didn't know what it was. My blood work, though, it could be like this, like over a three-month period. Correct. Well, like I said, we have a lot of different lawyers. I love that. I love that. Yeah, and yeah, and those are the people that come up. Those are the people that come up under commercial real estate. If you go through a few periods where you're stressed, you may be low on C, or your A one C. No problem. Thank you. Okay. Take care. You are something you're doing wrong, and so at that point. Okay. So what was the best thing you ate? Okay. All right. I think the first day we had some, some grilled chicken at one of the, one of the restaurants. Freaking delicious. Uh, and then that night, one of the desserts was like a chocolate orange. But that was the consistency. Glorious. Ten seconds here, guys. <laughs> Dan Kaplis, afternoons at four on six thirty K How. Ripped off bad news. You need advice so you don't have to lose. Come running just as fast as we can. Troubleshooter's gonna help the common man. This is the Troubleshooter Show. Now, Tom Martino. Hi, Tom Martino here, 303-713-TALK. 713-8255. I don't know why down the line just got lower, Shannon, but okay. Anyway, my return audio, that is. I'm talking technical here, folks. Welcome to the show. I'm Tom, and we are here to help you solve problems, answer questions, take complaints, make your life a little easier, as I've been doing for 45 years. And I also announced the first hour, second hour, I'm going to tell you that I'm, I'm, I, I have up on my computer right now, not only my call screener for your calls at 303 303- uh, 713-TALK, 713-8255. We're also taking 303-MARTINO, 303-627-8466. And we're also doing, um, that's 303-62, oh my God, I, I don't know what happened. 303-MARTINO, 303-627-8466. Also, we're doing um, Facebook uh, messaging, YouTube messaging, uh, LinkedIn messaging, and Nextdoor messaging. How about all that? Now, let me go to the phones and see what I can do for you. Bob, Logan is with us from Plumline Services. We've been talking about a lot of uh, a lot of stuff off the air, and on the air we talked a bit about um, how high efficiency can save you money. But one thing I do want to say for sure, and Bob's over here on my right, you'll see him if you're streaming, um, is they have a special going on right now where you get the furnace if you put in the AC. Is that right? That, that's right. And again, this is what we consider our shoulder season. We're kind of getting to the end of winter, getting yeah, so ready it's to go a little into slow. summer, and this is the best time to to get anything installed because you're going to save some money. But if you buy an air conditioner, we will give you a matching furnace for free, whether it's a um, just a base unit or whether it's a luxury unit or anything in between. We'll give you the matching furnace. And and that's a value of up to about 2500 bucks. Yeah, and, and it's uh, for real, by the way. You pay for the installation along with the uh, AC like anything. But right. here's the deal. there There's no charge for tearing out the old system. And also... And for recycling that, right? No charge for that. Oh, That's, yeah. We bring everything right. back. We break it down. We yeah. recycle it. We don't just send it to the dump right. like a lot of people do. Yeah. And, and then and, um, 
And don't forget, we're serving Northern Colorado now. Remember, January, we opened up our Northern office, so uh, Fort Collins, Loveland, Greeley, Longmont. Um, so pretty much from Castle Rock all the way to, to Fort Collins, we can, t we can take care of you. All right, I want to go to Bob. Uh, Bob's from LEM Landscaping, and we had a guy call in about a deck last week, and he said, uh, he said, I'm hiring Grandview decks, or excuse me, I got a bid from them, 21 grand for a 10 by 18 deck, partly composite, blah, blah, blah. Uh, again, Genesis said, you know, Genesis Total Exteriors, Mark, a good friend over there, he said, you know, that sounds a little high, but Tom, you know, it really all depends on how much they have to deal with on the site. Uh, did you go look at it, by the way, Bob, over at LEM Landscape? Did you go well, look at it? Tom, yep, Tom, I sure did, and here's why I thought you'd appreciate this. So I went out there, I looked at it, I walk out, um, very nice gentleman and his wife, and I'm looking at the deck, and I'm like, I'm trying to figure out why they need a new deck. Um, the the materials still look good, a little bit faded on the rails, but that's what that material does. So unlike the other person that was there, I got underneath the deck, I started looking. The only thing that this poor gentleman needed was there, because he did a two-tone deck, so he put an outer border in a different color, and they had to put, for better sake of it, two by eight pieces under there to screw to. Well, every one of them was rotted out, and some of them had fallen out. That is the absolutely only thing he needed, except the gentleman that originally did this messed up his brick, never told him, and left a 40-inch by 8-inch hole. So we're going to fix that and all the wood for $3,000. Oh, my That's God. He, he was looking at... I could have done the deck myself. He was looking at twenty grand, off. man. Well, that's why I wanted to let you know, Tom. Um, I could have put the same decking or better for about fourteen five, if I were to read down the deck. But you know me. I said, sir, I am not a dishonest person. You don't need a new deck. This is what you need. And he was flabbergasted. Um, they're probably going to call you today. But I wanted to let you know. Good. Um, this is what I've tried to tell everybody. Man, I really appreciate that. That's LEM Landscape, and they're on our uh, patio and landscaping and all of that. And he, he's at 303-564-9104, referralist.com, LEM. Thank you very much, Bob. Appreciate that. Now, really quickly, uh, Jennifer's been waiting a long time. Jennifer, what's going on with you? Uh, did she hang up? Okay, yeah. we'll move on. Oh, there you are, Jennifer. I'm sorry for making you wait. What's going on with you? Um, what's going on is I have a client who has MS. She's confined to a wheelchair. She has an 11-year-old son, and um, she just got enough funds together to move into a new apartment. But this apartment complex deals with Xfinity exclusively, and she had her mobile phones and her cables together at one time and with Xfinity and she couldn't pay the bill and now that she's moved it and into this new place, they want four hundred dollars to get her cable going to them and she's not gonna be able to do that. She so wait a minute, she has a balance due of four hundred, is that what you're saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And and, and kind of who okay. But does she have the money to pay her regular monthly bills? Yes, sir. She can come up with the monthly bill. She just can't come up with this, uh, her old bill and, you know, all of those things. And she could pay $10 a month maybe and knock that $400 down. But in the meantime, she's sitting there in the dang wheelchair with, with no TV. Nothing now, how did that bill get up to $400? She had the mobile phone lines tied with it. And I guess she didn't turn in a phone at the end of it or something. Something happened where she got, it got lost, or uh, and she doesn't know what to do now. And is this in her new place? Yes, sir. Okay. Why does she want to get cable? Because she's sitting there with nothing to do. I I I don't have enough DVDs to loan her. Jennifer, I, here's what I'm asking. Um, Yes. And, and you say a client. What do you do for her? I'm a caregiver. Oh, that's I very nice. That, no, that's very nice, Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer, where, what yes. part of town does she live in? Like a main part of town where they have... Because she, here's what I'm getting at. She could get any kind of broadband outside of Comcast, outside of Xfinity, 
and she could simply get. Well, no, she, she was told that this apartment complex has, what, is it a contract or something with Xfinity? I don't know, but they said they deal exclusively with Xfinity. Well, do they have, well, sometimes, though, they say that, but CenturyLink is available. Do you know if CenturyLink is available? No, sir, I don't. Has she tried to ask them if she could have a payment plan? Jennifer? Yes, sir. But in the meantime, they won't um, pick it up until they get this balance. And so that's the kind of situation she's in. And I just I feel so bad for her because she's still a young girl. She has an 11-year-old child who needs a distraction, too. And, and I'm poor. I can't, I can't pay it for them. And I thought, Maybe Tom Martino has some connections. Well, we can, we can try to do something for her with Xfinity, but it's unfortunate that because she, could have, she can get this, you know, Xfinity is a pretty expensive option. She's going to get cable, right? How much is that bill every month? Um, I'm not sure, Tom. She, she doesn't know until she gets it. You know, up and, going and, and what does she usually watch? Do you know? The reason I'm asking is there are other options, like even an over-the-air antenna, a digital antenna in her apartment. That's why I'm asking. Do you know what she watches or what she needs? Can you find out? Listen, Jennifer, I want to mark this for pending, and then what I'd like to do, here's what I'd like you to find out, and you can call us back, and Kachina will put you right in touch with us. I want to find out what her normal bill used to be, what she uses cable for, like what channels does she want and she use it for, and, and, and just find that out. And then, and then let us know also a, if she has a contact or someone who contacted her about the balance due. I'd like that information. Okay. And here's why. I will have Deputy Doc call over there and we'll try to negotiate something or we may have an alternative for her other than Comcast. That's what I'd like to do right now, just to get started. And then, yeah, we can probably help her, but I don't wanna throw money away if she doesn't need a bunch of cable, if she doesn't use it. I wanna know what they normally use and need because there are so many broadband services available, even wireless that could work. So, hey, so, so, uh, let's just mark this pending and Kachina, have her call us back on an inside line. 303 713 talk, 713 8255. A question for Bob Logan concerning um, AC. Do you do zoned AC? Somebody wants to know. And what is zoned AC? Talk about that. Sure, we, we do zoned AC. So they're, they're, depending on what a client's looking for, um, within a what's called a forced heat or forced cooling system, um, you, can, you can move um, the air to specific parts of the house and shut off specific parts of the house um, through the zones. So that's, that's one and, thing. And how is that done? Is that done through venting? It, it is through the... Through the ductwork. Through the ductwork. Now, um, a lot of times when people say they want a zone system, what they're, what they're saying is they want to add maybe a specific room. So maybe they have a a bedroom over a garage that stays really hot. Maybe they've done an addition and they can't get air to it. In, in that case, we have other options, um, which are called uh, mini split ductless systems. Right, um, right, right. Which but but for the cool. most part, though, if they're putting in a new AC and they want to go zoned and they want to be able to shut down some parts of the house they don't use a lot, they can do that. They can do that. And, and again, I would want to know why why they're asking the question, what they're trying to accomplish. And that's where our design consultants can really be helpful as they'll come out and get a true understanding is what is what it is you're trying to accomplish. Usually it's because they have hot and cold spots throughout the house. And so they, they think a zone system is the way to go. But some of the higher efficiency systems with the modulating motors um, can, can fix their issues. So um, again, the best thing to do is get an expert, whether it's from Plumline or a reputable company, get an expert to come out there, evaluate your system, uh, let them know what you're trying to accomplish, and then they can help design a system and give you a few different options um, to accomplish what you want to. All right, 303-713-8255. I'm Tom Martino. We have more coming up on The Troubleshooter Show. Compass Insurance Group is doing, by the way, free insurance analysis of your entire um, coverage to make sure you're not paying too much and to make sure you're covered enough, by the way, 
That's Compass Insurance Group, 303-996-9000. How about this plum crazy match made in heaven? Buy a new carrier AC and get a new carrier furnace free. A deal for any budget. Only from Plumline Services and Carrier. Turn to the experts with a spirit of excellence. Schedule online. No phone call, no hassle, no wait. Plumline Services. Dot- Ten seconds here, Tom. Will rock to Fort Collins. Service at home. Servants at heart. 25 years strong. PlumlineServices.com. When we are talking about solar systems, I must tell you about Red Rocks Roof and Solar. That's Red Rocks R S. Dot com. They have systems now for homes with battery backups or standalone systems off grid. They also have commercial systems where you can actually earn money by putting them in because they overbuild them on purpose to sell back to the grid. They also have special grants available to make those at no cost or very, very low cost to commercial customers. Red Rocks RS.com. Red Rocks does residential as well or just commercial? Good morning. I'm Ross. That's I'm Ross. That There's not the capacity to make a lot of money with this because you can't put in enough Gallup solar. Uh, can't put, uh, right? Hello, that was what our guide was. But look at who else is And Chuck Todd, who used to work or who just interviewed Ronna McDaniel. You want to apologize? Say. And this is him talking to Chris. Then came on and had this to say. Back in the day, who now works on at NBC News. Then came on and had this to. Say. Now I can. I think she said I can be more of myself now. But in any case, it puts her in a difficult spot. And Chuck Todd, who used to. Any answer she gave to you. Um, she has. She has credibility issues that she still has to deal with. Probably their most senior on-air, very senior guy within and within NBC. But how remarkable is that? I mean, whatever you think of Chuck Todd, within and within NBC News, he's a very senior guy. He's he's probably their most hey, senior. Hey, why are you listening person. to that? And he goes on the air and says to the world on their big. So she has, she, so I'll just pause it there. But how remarkable Shannon. is that? Oh, I mean, Dragon. I mean, whatever you think of Chuck Todd. Darn and see, sometimes you got to kind of take one for the team. But now I can, I think she said I can be more of myself now. But in any case, it puts her in a difficult spot. But how remarkable is that? I mean, whatever you think of Chuck Todd, with, I mean, whatever you think of Chuck Todd, within and with, think of Chuck Todd. To travel with you a lot. Terry, Kathy, yeah. they're my face. Yeah. Can I talk about the fact that if they start... So Mandy might be on to something there. But seriously, if you were dealing with any of that stuff I just mentioned... Even though I'm wearing a man dress, I still no. With news on huh? my man dress now. any artificial intelligence um not anything worth like you don't i, I use it. oh you mean like chat gpt you're talking yeah. about yeah, yeah yeah i'll use it occasionally but not i find myself using it as much as google not more so i found a lot of mistakes 
Well, you were sharing some of those, the, not, not the, the, um, the biases. The, and, no, yeah, not that. I'm okay. talking about actual factual mistakes. Oh, is that right? Like, what's this exam I'm taking? Ten seconds here, Tom. Like on. Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors. TrajanWealth.com. Hi, Tom Martino here, 303 713 Talk, 713 8255. What's on your mind today? Let's talk to Gwen. Gwen, you're, this is a follow up. You called last week. And uh, what's happening? I'm trying to find your call here, Gwen. I'm sorry. Let me find it. And um, why don't you start talking? Let's talk about your problem. What, what's going on? Okay. You had me call Angie's list back. To oh, I know what happened. You hired quality builders here. to do an addition, yep. and that you said they did all kinds of things wrong. Is that the one? Yep. And That's I said, how did you find quality builders? Angie's. And you said Angie's, Angie's and I said, or Angie's List, whatever they're calling it nowadays, Angie. And I said, do me a favor and just call them back because you say that um, yeah. they, they altered the plan causing you to have a new furnace and you tried to adapt a water heater and they ruined it. I, I, it's a long story, but in any case, I That's said, why right. don't you call them back out of curiosity to see what kind of stuff they will do for you interceding with the contractor? Uh, like we do for our referral list. What happened? Um, they just um, sent out more people to um, give estimates. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> estimates, what about the original one that did it wrong? They didn't do nothing. They're not responsible for it. Well, I know they're not responsible. To be fair, they're not responsible, but sh they should try to get the contractor to do something. Did they try to pressure quality to do the right thing? No. They did not. Okay. What exactly, let's be fair here, what exactly did quality builders do wrong? You know, the, the alteration of the plan causing you to need a new furnace that's yeah, the part i don't fully that. understand why did you need a new furnace after they altered the plan because the flu would have went up into the new bathroom right in the middle of the bathroom didn't your what, what, didn't they catch why did they not catch that i don't know do you know what she's talking about, Bob, when it comes to the flu going through the bathroom? So where the where they had the where your furnace was located Correct. originally would have gone through yes. the new bathroom. Yes, in the middle, they said. So their alternative was to get a high efficiency furnace to go out sideways. What do you mean sideways? Horizontal? Yes. And where were they going to put that? Upstairs in the new floor? No, downstairs. Still the same place. Same. Yeah, I, mean, I, I must have missed part. I must have missed something in the beginning. If they're replacing the furnace and using no, the here's what they're doing. Flu. No, no, they're they're doing a pop top basically. Okay. She's putting an upper room on. They realized yeah. when they started building that the upper room, the the flue would have gone through the new the new bathroom. So they have to change the furnace configuration to change the flu. Mm -hmm. Okay, that part I understand. Right. And so there's nothing wrong with coming across weird things like that during construction. But then you said they did something else. They had to do something with your water heater. What was that? They put a $270 package on there to force the carbon dioxide out sideways, and it was not... You mean on the furnace or on the water heater? water heater okay so in addition to the flu for the furnace they had to change the flu for the water heater too correct and when they changed the because otherwise they would have both been going through your new bathroom right say again if they didn't change the water heater flu it would have been going through that new bathroom right yeah okay yeah along with yeah everything would have been in the middle of the bathroom so everything has to go out sideways. I get it. I get it. Okay, so but when they, they when they try to take your water heater and they put a kit on it in order to put the flu horizontally instead of vertically? Correct. Why did they Okay, Bob, do you know why should they had to do that? I, because apparently the water heater 
I mean, I thought, okay, in any case, what did that do to your water heater, that kit? It no longer works. Okay. The water heater does not work. And why? When we had estimates, they said that that kit did not belong to that water heater. Okay. Do you know what kit she's talking yeah. about? I, I don't, but it sounds like they're trying to make a standard tank water heater into a power vent. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. what it sounds like. So so then do they say you need a whole new water heater because of it? Yes. Yeah. And what will that um, and, and so how much would that cost you? Fifty six hundred. For a fifty gallon? Mm-hmm. For a power vent water heater, that, that sounds about right. Okay, but, now. But again, these are things, in my mind, they should have recognized before they even started. No, I get that, but here's the problem. They didn't even pull a permit to do it. Okay. We found out. So what do you think Quality Builders owes you? What do you think? A new, that, the new water heater. How old is your old water heater? Um, it's a 2016, and we put it in in 17. I don't think they do owe you a new... I don't think they should have to pay a brand new water heater because that other one was seven years old or eight. I, I think they owe you something. I agree with you. I do not believe they owe you for the entire water heater. Whenever you do home improvements, you're going to run across extra expenses. As Bob said, they should have caught it in the beginning. But had they caught it in the beginning, I want to know the God's honest truth. Had they said to you, as a result of this room up here, we're going to have to do a new horizontal furnace, and we're going to have to do a power-vented water heater, and it will be an additional X amount of dollars, would you have nixed the project? No. So the only thing different now is you think they should pay for the extra cost because you didn't know yeah. about it. See, here's what I'm saying, Gwen. If true, and I'm not, I'm not sticking up for, I'm not sticking up for the builder. But here's what I'm saying: if truly you put in a brand new room upstairs, and you had to adjust your mechanical systems because of it. That is a normal cost of doing a home improvement. The only difference is you did not know about it. I no, think what... First, what's the, that? The first draft did not do that. The second draft did that. I get that, but you approved the second draft. Is that true? Yes. Why did the first draft not show uh, a new furnace and water heater? Did the first because draft have the room in a different location? Hold on. I'm not finished asking. Did the first draft have the room in a different location? Or did the first draft have the room in the same location, but they just forgot about the flues? They forgot about the flu. Okay, so they had to redo the plan, but the room was essentially in the same place. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so basically they did not do the plan correctly the first time. But here's what I'm asking. Had they done the plan correctly in the first time, you would have agreed to it anyway. Is that right? No, because it wouldn't have happened. You would, oh, that's what I'm asking you. You would have canceled it. I wouldn't have canceled anything. It wouldn't have happened. Gwen, you're not listening to me. Listen, just please listen. I'm asking you, if you hired Quality Builder and they did the plan correctly the first time, it would have shown you spending extra money on a furnace and on a water heater. Would no, you have still decided to go through with it or not? We charge the water heater. Okay. Gwen, I'm going to ask again. This is the last time I'm asking. 
Go back to when no, you first got it. that bid. Go back to when you first got it. If they gave you the correct bid back then, the correct one, right from the beginning, showing a new furnace and a new water heater, right from the beginning, pretend none of this happened, would you have agreed to still go ahead and do the work? No. You would have nixed the entire project? Yeah. Okay, because that would have broken your budget. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, how much extra? The original price was 118 With the new water heater and the new furnace, how much did it increase the project? Oh, Jesus. How much? I mean, a furnace and a water heater. How much did, that, how much did you pay? 4500 and 270 no, I'm not talking about the, okay. Um, the 270 doesn't make sense. You should get that money back. It's the I'm, kit. Not the kit. I'm asking this. You're saying you need a wa new water heater. How much does the new furnace cost you? 4300 Okay. And the new furnace cost you and how much? Leaking. The furnace was 4300 How much is the water heater? 4300 as well? No, that's 56. Okay, so basically an extra $10,000. So your $118,000 project is now 128000 Is that correct? Yes. And you're telling me that that's 10000 more than you would have agreed to spend in the beginning. You would have never done the project. But now it's too late to turn back. Is that right? Yes, because 118 is 118. It's not 128. I get you. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm trying to put a number on it so we can go after the company. You have to have damages. Break. Now what we need to do is this. You need to subtract from those damages. You need to subtract from them the life of the furnace and the AC that has already been used. How old was the furnace you're replacing? That I don't know. It was my mom's furnace, and I don't have a date on it. Give me an idea. It Was it more than 20 years old? No. Was it 10 years old? Yeah, about 10, probably. So that furnace that you just replaced was redone back in, tw in, in, in 2014? Yeah. All right, let's take a break, buddy. All right. If that's true, it was about 10 years old. And your, and your other one was 10 years old. Your water heater was almost 10 or 7 years old. I would say the most they owe you is 50% of that 10 grand. And I'm sure you're going to not understand why. Hold on. We got more coming up. This is Denver's Talk Station with Michael Brown in the morning and Dan Kaplis in the afternoon, 6.30, KHOW, Denver. Now, Impact Traffic. This report is sponsored by New Allstate. slowdowns through downtown, I-25 northbound after I-70, a stalled semi-truck blocks two right lanes. We're seeing stop and go back from Spear Boulevard, about a 15-minute delay. Otherwise, a pretty calm drive throughout the Denver metro. After this morning's wintry we weather had the roads nice and icy, it does look like things are clearing out. I-70 east and westbound, we're showing highway speeds to and from DIA. 225 north and southbound, back to regular speeds through the tech center as well. Fox 31 pinpoint weather, high 36 today, overnight low of 8. Tomorrow, partly cloudy skies with a high of 46. It gets warmer throughout the rest of the week. Wednesday, high 54. Thursday, high 65. The current temperature is 26 degrees. With your impact traffic and weather, Mark Swan, 630 KHOW. Some people just know the best rate for you is a rate based on you with Allstate, not one based on anyone else. So if you drive safely, you could save money. Good to know. Visit Allstate.com or call for a quote today. You know, I attribute much of my health to GrossmanWellness.com. Grossman is a clinic that you pay a flat rate every month and you get all of your prescription, prescription drugs that you need and your supplements and your visits and your blood work. And you have a doctor on call. Now, to start, I'm not asking you to sign up. I'm asking you to check it out. 
Grossman Wellness. For 249 bucks right now, you get blood work, initial consultation, and see if this is for you. It's unbelievable. 303-233-24, excuse me, 4247. That's 233-4247, 233-4247, grossmanwellness.com. Europlumbingcolorado.net does repiping of your whole house. You know, a lot of people have older homes and they need new piping and it involves drywall and it involves... Uh, going through the walls and all of that. They can do minimal damage with this new PEX plumbing with no joints in it. They can do this PEX. It's freeze-resistant piping, and they do it at a great price, and they urge you to call them for a, quote, a turnkey project, including all drywall repairs. Euro Plumbing, Colorado. Dot net and here is that number europlumbingcolorado.net 303-668-6844 now listen one other thing i want to tell you about dan mckenzie get a will dan mckenzie get a trust dan mckenzie get some kind of a plan on paper with dan mckenzie he does a great job sitting with you personally and going over your entire life mckenzie law firm and here's the number mckenzie law 833 co plans 833 co plans Would you say a water heater seven years would be 50% right? And then furnace 10 years. Especially the one we call Yep. Have you ever asked me? Congratulations, you see the paper brush for sale. Why is it telling you why you need to get it treated? Factor, what is peripheral neuropathy? Peripheral neuropathy is nerve damage to the feet and lower legs. It's major symptoms of numbness, burning, shooting pain, and balance issues. Can it be treated? It absolutely can in most situations with great results. More importantly, you get 
Ten seconds here, Tom. AdvancedHair.com. Denver's Talk Station. Online at khout.com. Hi, Tom Martino here, 303-713-TALK, 303-713-8255. Welcome to the show. We're here to help you solve your problems, and I hope we can. Now, I want I want to help Gwen go after this company, but here, here's the problem. I do believe they cost her money she would have otherwise not spent because of the complication. I do believe that, 100%. But Gwen, the pro- here's what I'm trying to get at. This extra 10 grand you had to spend, I hope you understand this. It's for a new furnace and a new water heater. Quality Builders does not owe you all of that because the furnace you had and the water heater you had were both at half-life. So you have to pay for the other half. It's called betterment. So if you go to small claims court or if we call them, we can't argue for the full amount. You would lose that. Do do you understand that part of it? I don't mind paying for the furnace. Well, you don't have to pay. No, no. You should have to pay for half the furnace is what I'm saying, not for all of it. And you should have to pay for half the water heater. That's what I'm getting at is because they're... even though they did you wrong and they, they, cost, they cost you money, basically, because of their ineptness. But they don't owe you something you did not have. They don't owe you a 100% brand new furnace. They owe you a 50% furnace. And they owe you a 50% water heater. So they do owe you something. So we could try to argue they owe you five grand. Make sense? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's it, it, it's it. Whether it makes sense or not, if you went to court, that's all the judge would order them to pay. Probably is what they took from you, and and really, I do think they were it it, that they did it illegally. Well, that part of it wouldn't enter into your civil case. That doesn't have anything to do with it. When you say illegally, mm-hmm. what do you mean? It's illegal what they did. What do you mean? The codes are broken. Okay, that's not illegal. That's a civil issue. That's a civil thing. That, that's, that, all that does is get them in trouble with the building department. That has nothing to do with getting your money back. I just told you, if they owe you five grand, they owe you five grand. They won't owe you 10 grand because they didn't get a permit. They won't owe you 20 grand. They'll, they won't owe you 1000 They'll owe you what they owe you what they owe you, period. It doesn't matter how many things they did wrong. Your damages don't increase. Your damages are what they are. Gwen, listen, I'm going to put her on hold. Here, here's what I want to do. I'd like Deputy Dollar to take this, but only if I'm not going to bother calling this company if all she wants to do is keep adding. She's not going to get more than she's going to get. We will try to fight for her. We will. If, if Quality Builders is even worth a damn, I don't even know what they're, if they even have the money to pay. I have no idea what the hell they are, Quality Builders. But if you need help, uh, Kachina... I'm hoping you're listening. Uh, let's yep. call. Uh, let's Dollar. just let's give this to Deputy Dollar. But again, you know, she keeps bringing up problems they did wrong. I get it. I get it. If they did it wrong, fine. But that doesn't increase loss. The more penalties you can pile up, it doesn't increase what they owe you. We got more coming right up. Now, Impact Traffic. This report is sponsored by 
all state. New slowdowns through downtown. I-25 northbound after I-70. A stalled semi-truck blocks two right lanes. We're seeing stop and go back from Spear Boulevard. About a 15-minute delay. Otherwise, a pretty calm drive throughout the Denver metro. After this morning's wintry we weather had the roads nice and icy, it does look like things are clearing out. I-70 east and westbound. We're showing highway speeds to and from DIA. 225 north and southbound. Back to regular speeds through the tech center as well. Fox 31 pinpoint weather. High 36 today. Overnight low of 18. Tomorrow Partly cloudy skies with a high of 46. It gets warmer throughout the rest of the week. Wednesday, high 54. Thursday, high 65. The current temperature is 26 nice. degrees. With your impact traffic and weather, Mark Swan, 630 KHOW. Some people just know the best rate for you is a rate based on you with Allstate. Not one based on anyone else. So if you drive safely, you could save money. Good to know. Visit Allstate.com or call for a quote today. You know, I'll tell you what. Retirement planning is more than just investing. It's more than just income. It's more than just a 401k. It's more than just one uh, than a pension or an IRA. It's all of those things, plus insurance and uh, even your estate planning, all of it. See, when you plan for retirement, you have to plan for a complete package so you have money to last you your life, but you, you don't want just one element. Retirement Planning Center of the Rockies takes a complete approach. They look at your whole life and what you need to have a comfortable retirement. Then they try to plan for that. If you're young enough, it's building a nest egg and keeping it safe. And if you're older, taking that nest egg and making it last through retirement. I can't explain each and everything they do, but what I can say is this. If you meet with them, you'll be convinced that they are worth having on your team. Call them, 970-663-3211, 970-663-3211. By the way, I use them, rpcenter.com. Denverregen.com. Now, we've talked about stem cell therapy and how I got out of pain with stem cell therapy. Stem cell therapy can truly help you, true stem cell therapy many clinics advertise stem cells they don't really do them denverregen.com will extract stem cells and actually do the stem cell therapy in their clinic denverregen.com they also do of course that new weight loss drug the semaglutide in a compounded form for a fraction of the cost of the others denverregen.com just walking it just totally went away from just walk from because i guess when you exercise i don't know you're putting it under strain and i guess when you're um you know sitting around a lot that's what it was but it's amazing how sometimes such simple things i do um what i okay, i call it well i like cardio Meaning, while I'm doing weights, I keep doing up, uh, uh, pace. I do both. And then I do walk. Uh, now I'm doing it. But, uh. Hello?
Testing one, two. Ten seconds, buddy. Denver's talk station. Yeah, 630. The station I keep it on. 630 KHOW. Hi, Tom Martino here, 303-713-TALK, 713-8255. All right, um, I want to continue uh, with George, who has an issue with a car and a collision. What is going on? George, Hi, Tom. what's happening? Speaking. What's going on Oh, here? man. Let's see if I can sum this up in a nutshell for you. Uh Back in November, a deer hit me traveling northbound on I-25. Did you sue him? Uh, I was naive. <laughs> no. So anyway, no. really, uh, did did Luckily, you, did the car get pretty uh, banged up? Um, it took out a lot of the driver's side headlight area, and I was just freaked out. I um. Initially, I inspected it with lights, and I noticed that there was no leaks. There was nothing going on. My car was not overheating. Um, yeah. So what happened then, George? It, you know. And when was this collision, by the uh, way? This was uh, mid-November. Oh, my gosh. So mid-November and, this happened, and it was – and, and uh, did, yeah. did, did, was it dented up bad? Um, you know, surprisingly, it was pretty good. Um, I just didn't know what to do, so I just trusted calling my insurance company right off the bat. I was more freaked out. And so you did call your insurance company back in November of 2023? Correct. Okay, and what did they say? And then uh, they notated that, and they said, okay, well... You know, I was just so freaked out that. But why were you calling your insurance company? I need to know. Did you need repairs done? Yeah, I mean. Okay. Did they do repairs? Pretty legal without headlights, right? Did they do repairs? No repairs were done. Why? So why? You made a claim, you made a claim, but no repairs were done. Why? Well, I couldn't find any auto body shops to take my car. Were you paid for for a claim? Were you paid for a claim? Yes. Uh, I'm I'm going to have to hold on because I I need to get information just a little quicker. I will ask you questions, and I promise you, I know where we're going with this. We might be able to help, maybe not. But if you hang on, I'll come right to you next. I'm Tom Martino. We also have PlumLineServices.com with us. Give us a call, 303-713-TALK or 303-MARTINO. Did he say he got paid for it? I I missed that part. Mexico or any place. Well, Bob, they would make some of the best work that you have. 
I swear to God, if you think you know as apprentices and shit, but he, what does that, what has to be done when you hire somebody? You need to have to hire somebody. Well, I mean, for us, because we're working with homeowners, they got to have the communication skills, the, exactly. the personality, the, you know. You don't have people. Well, on the excavation side, we do, but, you know, digging trenches and things like that. Yeah. We, have, we have plenty of those jobs. You do? Yeah. A social security number or a, or a work visa or something? No, and I don't know, I mean, you know, I've been working in construction now for 25 years, and when, we, when we, I did new construction, I, I knew darn well the majority of the people that were working for us were not legal, but they had a name and a social security number and identification and everything else, and, and to your point, these are just good, hardworking people. They're, they just want an opportunity, right? Yeah, um, and, and they're trying to do things. You don't, but back then we'd get letters from the INS that, that would say, uh, maybe it'd say something like, this name does not match the Social Security number, and then in big, bold letters, however, this is not grounds for termination. Good so even though they knew the that the name didn't match the Social Security number, they were telling you, you cannot fire them. Um, Hello, Tom Martino Show. And what, the INS is now ICE, right? It's... But, and, and I would yeah, love to hire more of those, more of those people, because because to your point, they're just they're they're here. They want jobs. You know, they just want to be part. They yeah. they just want an opportunity. And, and it's an it's sickening me. It sickens me. You know, I used to, and this is years ago. I knew a whole bunch of people in Venezuela on, and running excellent businesses. I mean, and what 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 has happened? To that country is just devastating. I mean, so many of them have passed on now. 25% of the entire population. It's crazy. It's, it's insane. And it, and it used to be a flourishing country until communism. So they come here.
<laughs> Dan Kaplis, afternoons at 4 on 630 KHOW. Troubleshooter's gonna help the common man. This is the Troubleshooter Show. Now, Tom Martino. Hi, Tom Martino here. Welcome to the show. 303 713 Talk. 303 713 8255. This hour brought to you by waterpros.net for the best water assistance at the lowest prices when it comes to water softening or fresh water at your kitchen sink. And all I have to do is talk about mine. Triple filter reverse osmosis. Three oh, uh, by the way, 303-862-5554. Speaking of water, uh, fix, uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, things to talk about. And we have um, plumb line services with us for plumbing, heating, cooling, electric, and drains. And uh, they also have a drain division, speaking of drains. And the reason I bring that up is uh, we've had a lot of ripoffs in the drain business. People telling you you need a drain. And I'm telling you, it's unfortunate, okay? And I'm just going to say this. And I don't know how to say this properly, but almost every business that we've had saying you need a drain, a brand new drain, brand new sewer line, and they didn't, had the name Rooter in it. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not saying it just was coincidence. I don't know. But R-O-O-T-E-R was in the name. And that doesn't mean all companies with the name Rooter are bad companies, uh, I, I, I'm just saying, but I just want to say this. Uh, you do free second opinion still? Go ahead, sir. Yes, we do. We do free second opinions, not only on sewer lines, but all major projects. But here's, here's uh, one, one thing I would uh, tell your homeowner, homeowners. If they, if they get a, an estimate for a new sewer line yes, yes, or yes. an expensive repair, the, the person giving them that estimate, they should take a, a video of the line and they should have the video start in their in their basement. Or in other words, outside. they should watch him do it, not they, just get be handed something. Well, they they should watch him do it, but if they can't watch him do it, so for example, our supervisors will take a video of wherever the clean out is before they put it in the line. So you'll see that your address, the front of your house. Okay. You might see your mechanical room. Okay. And then they'll go into your sewer line. All in one swell. All, all in one motion. Right. All in one motion, exactly. So that so that you know you're, you are indeed looking at your sewer line and not a video of somebody else's sewer Exactly, because it's so easy for them to trick it's, you like it's, that. It's very easy. All right. Uh, anyway, that's uh, Plumline, 303-586-1086 or PlumlineServices.com. I'm going to go back to the phones. George, um, he said he had a problem with his car, and, and, and it was back in November of 2023, 20, uh, it hit a deer. He called his insurance company, filed a claim. Um, by the way, uh, did uh, they pay you for that? I forgot. To, did you actually get the money on that claim? They did. Okay, how much? The problem. The problem is, I was in. I entrusted Caliber Collision to do the repairs. I understand they have to make this assembly, which they did. The initial estimate was. Wait, wait. When did you take it in for repairs, though? You said you didn't get it done at first. That's right. No repairs were ever done. How much were you paid? Let's, I, I, I need to get basic. And how much were you paid? Uh, I think it was around $8,000. Okay, now. The and, then, is, and then hold on. And then when did you go in for repairs? Uh, right, at, uh, right before Thanksgiving. And what happened? He gave me an initial estimate of 4100 and I was fine with that. And then about a week later, it surged to 9600 and then they said, oh, we're going to do a total loss. And I'm like, I want to get a second opinion. They refused to allow me to get a second opinion. No, no, ho, 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 George, George. Caliber Collision has no right to refuse you to have your car taken somewhere else. So tell me how that worked exactly. You took it, it to my... Caliber, and they refused to let you get a second opinion. My insurance company refused to let me get a second. Opinion. Oh, okay. So Caliber Collision, basically, by the way, it is common for, for an estimate to go to a total. It's not uncommon, I should well, say. I, so what happened then? You, yeah, you, your insurance company that. said, this is the way it is. We're going to pay you the claim. Is that right? 
That's right. How much did they pay you? Roughly eight thousand dollars. Another eight thousand in addition to the original eight thousand? No, only eight thousand period. For the whole hold on. What 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 year car was this? It was a twenty thirteen. And so they said your car was worth eight grand, is that right? No, they said it was worth I had to fight them on that. I had to hire somebody to help what me. What did with they that. say your car was worth? About twelve about twelve thousand. But you already got paid that. eight thousand for the claim, right? That was afterwards. Okay. I'm gonna say this again. Total money right now in your pocket from insurance is how much? Total money. Eight thousand. Okay. You just to- okay. So you got paid eight thousand dollars when you filed the claim, and then they said your car is totaled. Is that right? No, I didn't get paid till way later. Okay, gotcha. Okay, you got paid after they totaled your car. So they th- was your car worth yeah. eight grand or more? More. The problem is my car was in drivable condition before I took it into. Yeah, the I get it. Collision. I get it. Mm-hmm. But, you don't think it should have been totaled? You wanted it fixed, right? Right, but that's not the problem. The problem is. They threatened me to get my car off of their lot or I would have to start paying. They also didn't... Wait a minute. If they total the car, though, it belongs to the insurance company. No, I, I had... I decided to keep the car. Okay, see, you got to tell me all this stuff, man. Okay, hold on. You took the eight grand and kept the car or did you have to give some of the eight grand back? If I... Yeah, I, I would have gotten twelve grand, but I wanted to keep the car. Okay, I now to I understand. The totally the understand. Problem. Go ahead, keep going. Then the problem is, they sent the tow truck to deliver my car without any parts. They threw them all away, or they parted them out, or sold them. Oh. So the same day, I went to confront. So your car was drivable when it went into caliber. When you got it back. Correct. It was totally, you, you yeah. couldn't have possibly fixed it, yeah. but you would have been able to had they not done that. Correct. What I does Caliber say about me. that? What I mean, they shouldn't have given you back a bunch of parts. That's right. So I went there, I played their game, I waited 23 minutes before I couldn't take it anymore to finally speak to the manager. He played Was this all done back in November or manager. December or when? 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 December 29th. Okay, so right now, you've been fighting them since then. You're not going to get your parts now. Well, that's what he told me. Well, they, said, they well, don't have parts. your parts. What, 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 if they got rid of your parts back in well, November, what makes you think they would have your parts now? Because they said that they would order them. They understood that they didn't have them. They couldn't explain to me what happened. And I said, well, that's not right. You it know, isn't right. I, George, still, George, listen. my front end was still correct. George, I agree with you. Listen, I, I understand this situation. I would love to show you my pictures. You don't have to. Even though the car was totaled, you think you could have gotten it back and for the eight grand came close to fixing it at least. Or even if you didn't, that's not their problem. But you would, would have at least had the car like it was but you said when you took it in there they disassembled it which they could have and they should have and and they were entitled to i agree once you decided to take the car back they were not obligated they were not obligated to put it back together but they were obligated to at least not throw your parts away for god's sakes unless the parts were the ones that were damaged. So did they throw good parts away? They did. Wow. About Only half the side was affected. Okay, so how do they justify this? Half. What are they going to what, what have you been doing since then? Why don't you sue them in small claims court for the cost of the parts they threw away? It sounds like that's what I should do. 
how I've much do those parts, how much the parts they threw away, what do they add up to? If I were to get them from the dealership, probably $5,500. Do you know, that? here's what, here, here's the problem. What year was your car? 2013. Yeah. Here's the other problem. It's called Betterment. They're not going to need to get you brand new parts. They're going to need to get you. I understand that. But, but here, okay, good. I'm glad you understand. They owe you used parts. But here's the problem, and you're not going to love this at all, but I swear to God, I'm going to save you the trouble of trying to go to court and losing the most. What do you think the most they will owe you would be? The very most. Give me an idea. Based on everything you've told me in this phone call, what's the most, most likely according to law, they will owe you? I, I don't know. Okay. I don't know I'll tell about. you what it is. It's the original value placed on that car by your insurance. It was $12,000, and you got eight of it already. You wanted to take the car, so they, they didn't give you 12. They gave you eight. They withheld four. The most that Caliber Collision would owe you is $4,000. That'd be fantastic. You, I think you can win that argument. Hold on. I'm Tom Martino. Wait on. Hold on. Let's talk about your traditional mortgage. You know, the one that you're strapped with for the next 30 years and pay all interest first to the bank? You know, the one where you have zero access to your equity? Stop. That's crazy. On a life changer loan, you pay principal first, not interest. Plus, money flows in and out as you need. So you can pay down, pay off, borrow back as you need. It's not magic. It's just math. So check us out at lifechangerloan.com. That's lifechangerloan.com. Life Changer Loan Corp. is a licensed Colorado mortgage company. NMLS 1863775. Life Changer Loan Corp. is an equal housing lender. Euro Plumbing Colorado, Euro Plumbing. If you want to get someone to repipe your house with PEX Plumbing, that's the freeze-resistant plastic plumbing that lasts forever. They can do it through your existing walls, get rid of that old, ugly galvanized pipe or old copper that you need to get rid of and get brand new piping. And they can do it all with drywall repairs and everything. It's a one-stop shop for uh, repiping. Euro Plumbing, Colorado.net. Give them a call. They would love to give you a free estimate and they can do it turnkey with drywall repairs and everything europlumbingcolorado.net 303-668-6844 joe lazara is a criminal defense attorney and i hope you never need him l-a-z-z-a-r-a you can find joe lazara at referralist.com or at lazaralegal.com Free initial consultations if you're ever charged with a DUI or any kind of a crime. And then flat rate pricing. Don't ever shop for an attorney under pressure. Put this name away. I hope you never need it. But if you do have to use it or refer someone, it's Joseph A. Lazara. And that number is 303-429-6200. With Tom... And it'll go straight to him. You know, this is really weird. I'm getting a I'm getting a fraud alert mark on a card. So I we could get you yeah, we could get you back on the show once you send in your email or at help at troubleshooter.com. And what's weird is yes. we don't even have that card. So they want Okay. When I call them, they want a bunch of information. Okay, thanks so much. This is not them. All right. I don't even have that card. That's an old card. This is not 
this, they were going to do So they said it was a fraud, fraud alert so they could collect information on your new card? It's a scam? Wow. This is amazing. This is amazing. All right, Josh, just hang on for me. We're going to get to you as soon as possible, okay? I can't God. believe that this has happened. Josh, are you there? Okay, hang on. This is amazing. TrajanWealth.com Denver's Talk Station 630 KHOW Hi, Tom Martino your troubleshooter 303-713-TALK 303-713-8255 Okay, now here's the uh, here's the situation we have George, who took a car into caliber. They took it apart, threw away his parts. He wanted to fix his salvaged car, but instead now, it must be a total loss. So, he was offered 12 from his insurance company. He accepted eight and was going to try to get it fixed, but now he can't. I, George, what I suggest is you sue Caliber in small claims court and you can show that your insurance company valued the salvage or valued the car, I'm sorry, at 12 grand and you were going to take it and fix it. They were unable, you were unable to do it due to their incompetence and therefore now you have no choice but to get it totaled, but you can't now because your insurance company won't give you the money, or I'm assuming they won't. I don't know if you can reopen the claim or not with your insurance. If so, get the other four grand from them and call it good. But if you can't, because your insurance company wouldn't have cared, you know what, they wouldn't have cared. I don't know if you can still do that. If you can, get the money from them. If not, I would sue Caliber in small claims court, and I would sue okay. them for $4,000. You have the numbers to prove that they cost you four grand by letting, because right. they gave you back the car, but you paid four grand for that car to your insurance company, right? So think about the transaction. Right. You paid four grand to your insurance company for that car. That's what you paid for it. And Caliber delivered to you a car worth less than four grand. It was their fault that it was worth less than four grand. That's the reasoning you must use when you go after them. And I, I think that you should win. I mean, these guys did you wrong. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, start that at least and let me know how it goes, seriously. But, but you remember, I, ju I just have to be sure that you know the reasoning. The reasoning is you bought that car from your insurance company. When Caliber delivered it, they delivered an incomplete car. Therefore, you want what you bought. You can't get it. So they, what they owe you is four grand. And if they pay you the four grand, then you have to give them back what you have, the car, if they want it. 303-713-TALK, 713-8255. Now, 
Cynthia, what's going on with uh, your car? What's going on, Cynthia? Yeah. Yes, hello. Hi. I per- recently purchased uh, a vehicle at the Sharpest Ride dealership. Okay, what kind of car did uh, you buy? Me- I bought a Cadillac. What year? A 2014 okay. Cadillac. 2014 Got Cadillac. It. They gave me they gave me one key. I had requested a second key. The salesman said we only have one key, but they gave me a warranty that I paid for for thirty nine dollars, and they told me call these people and they will get you a second key for free. You have to call within six months and they'll get you a second key. Well, the first key they gave me broke. It's a remote, so I can't open up my trunk. Hey, Cynthia, let me just cut to the chase because this is pretty easy. Warranties don't cover keys unless the key breaks, but they don't don't cover a second key. So whoever told you that told you that wrongly, but... um, but you'd have to prove they told you that or put it on the contract. If not, you have to go by what the warranty says. Bottom line is this. No one is, t- is entitled to two keys when they buy a car unless they get the two keys. If you don't get the two keys, it's not like anyone owes you two keys. I, I just need everyone to know this so we're not going off half cocked. Now, if they, well, if they not, said... That's not it, the case. Okay, go ahead. That's What's the case? the case? Tell me what the case is, this, Cynthia. Go ahead. This, Tell me what it is. The case is I I purchased a warranty for thirty nine dollars that they specifically says I can get another key free. That Cynthia, is, that here's is what I'm warranty. asking you. Please, I understand that. Does the warranty itself say you can get a second key? Yes. It oh. says I can get a free key. It doesn't say a second key. It says a free key. Good. That's what and the that warranty actually it. says in writing. Yes. Good. And it shows there the options that you can get. When my key broke, the point is, when my key broke, I called the warranty to get a free key. Got and it. they said they can't honor that until the dealership gives me a second key. I don't even so understand why. Why? Because they said they will not honor this warranty to get a, a free key until the dealership gives me, I have to have received two keys from the dealership. That's what these warranty people said. But hold on, so what does the, the I don't care, listen, I don't care what the warranty people say, and I don't care what Sharpest Ride says. What I care about is what your contract really? says. You're not interested in what the Sharpest Ride told me. They told me I was supposed to lie to the warranty people and tell them that I received two keys. That's okay. what the dealership wanted okay. me to do. Cynthia, Cynthia, here's what I'm saying. What I mean is I don't care what either of them says. Oh, I'm Be- sorry you don't care because the dealership wants to charge me to make Cynthia, a key. you're not letting me finish, Cynthia. You're not, you're not letting, letting me, finish. me finish. If you want some information, I'll give it to you. If you don't, hang up. There, that's your choice. What I'm saying is, thank you, and you should hang up. She is, uh, never mind. Here, here's, the bo- here's what I was going to say, okay? It doesn't matter what Sharpest says. It doesn't matter what the warranty company says. What matters is what the contract says. If the contract does not mention she needs two keys to get a free key, then we can make the warranty company give her one, period. If it says that you do need two keys to get one key, then the warranty would be off the hook. But that still would not require the dealer to give her a second key. I mean, what I'm trying to do is look at the issue. What I meant when I said I don't care what people say is because you can't prove what they said. You can only prove what you have in writing. Is that too hard to understand? If Listen, if you're going to call and you don't want to hear the truth, do not call. I'm telling you ahead of time, do not call. What I'm trying to do is make you smarter and make you to give you the weapons you need to get what you need. 
I'm not tickling your ear or lying to you or saying, oh my God, they said that to you? Well, by golly, we're going to go make them do it. No, because you can't prove it. And you may ask me, Tom, why do they have to prove it? Because I'm going to tell you something you may find shocking. Consumers sometimes lie to me. I think it's climate change. Josh, what's going on with you? <laughs> Josh. I was just gonna I was just gonna update you on the Samsung issue. Now I let's let's go back to that. When did you call on that, Josh? I think it was Friday or Thursday of last week was my second call to you. Okay, it and was what was this original was this the original issue where you had a coupon that they would not honor or something like that, right? Yep, I had one of the Samsung fridge freezers that the ice makers were unrepairable. So and as I remember it, as I remember this dang thing, you got some kind of a money-off coupon to get a new one, right? I did, and you couldn't use the coupon. Yeah, crazy. So I, I pseudo took your advice. Mark said just sue him for breach of contract. Right, in so small claim, because here's the point. It was an eight-year-old Samsung but they, they absolutely owed it to you. Let me get there. Wasn't it under warranty? Is that what I'm remembering or not? No, the, I think there was some kind of government settlement that they had to keep repairing the ice maker. Okay, whatever it was, the ice maker, whatever it was, the ice maker should have been fixed by them. They could not fix it. So they gave you a coupon, but why couldn't you use the coupon? Because every time you put in it, it said it was invalid, right? Yeah, that's a good question. So, but the coupon um, would not work. I remember it. So what happened then? Did you take him to small claims court for breach of contract? So I actually emailed the office of the CEO and told them I really didn't want to go to court, but due to their breach, this was my loss. They called me today, and we settled. <laughs> it wasn't for the value of the coupon, but what they did was they took – my old refrigerator was actually six years old, so they took it, and they depreciated it 10% a year and writing me a check for about 1500 bucks. Whoa. Thank you, man. So, that is so cool. Yeah, I know there's a lot of people out there with that problem, and if they want to go that route, you might as well do it anyways, even if you're going to keep the fridge and freezer because they don't want it back. You know what? That is pretty damn cool. I appreciate you, man, calling, letting us know. Thank you. Now, another word, and, and speaking of this, we had told him uh, what to do, and he took advice. Now, the last woman that called that hung up, and she got, she got her panties in a ruffle. She was very upset. I, I want to explain this again for you listening. We're trying. I swear to God, we're trying to help you. But we have to... Do it the right way. You can't go by things you can't prove. Like with used cars, for example, earlier in the show, we had a woman who bought a used car and said they cheated her. She said the contract claimed it was in perfect condition. On the contract. And it was inspected, perfect condition. When I saw the contract, it says, as is with all problems it said that she said oh that's not the original contract there's another contract in the glove compartment you can't prove it what i'm getting at is i can't help you with things we can't prove 303-713-8255 This is Denver's Talk Station with Tom Martino. Now, Michael Brown, tomorrow morning at 6, 6.30, KHOW, Denver. Now, Impact Traffic. This report is sponsored by Allstate. Some good news on I-25 through downtown. Northbound roads are back to easy driving after a stalled semi just before I-70 had some slow traffic through the area. Northwest of there. 
I-76 westbound, a new crash reported at Sheridan. We're seeing stop and go back from Federal. Heading east of there through Commerce City, I-270 westbound. Some road work continues between I-70 and Vasquez. I-70 east and westbound flowing free to and from DIA. Fox 31 pinpoint weather closing out this morning's wintry weather. High of 36 degrees, overnight low of 18. Tomorrow, partly cloudy skies with a high of 46. The current temperature in Denver is 27 degrees with your impact traffic and weather. Mark Swan, 630 KHOW. Some people just know the best rate for you is a rate based on you with Allstate, not one based on anyone else. So if you drive safely, you could save money. Good to know. Visit Allstate.com or call for a quote today. O'Brien Legal Services. I love talking about O'Brien because Brad O'Brien and his team practice real estate law. And this is an area we so overlook. We go to closings without attorneys. We face neighbor problems without attorneys. If we're running into landlord tenant issues or any kind of border dispute, easements, eminent domain, uh, adverse possession, squatting, whatever it is, Brad O'Brien handles it. He is a real estate attorney. Do you know if you're buying a home with a, with a partner that's not your spouse and you need to write up an agreement or you have owner financing, you need to write up an agreement. You're so silly to go through hundreds of thousands of dollars in real estate and not charge a, or not pay a few hundred bucks to have an attorney on your side. O'Brien Legal Services, OLSlaw.com, 720 Three seven zero seventy three eighty eight. You've probably heard about the wonderful Lake Charles broadcast all over the nation, streaming your feed all over. Talk thousand hundred hours of home, and there's more to choose. There's good news. Lake Charles East. Hi, Mike. This is Kelly. I'm calling from the Tom Martino Troubleshooter Show about uh, regarding your Xfinity phone and the issues that you're having. I have an open line available to talk to Tom about it, so I'd like to place you on hold and get you on the show, okay? Perfect. All right. Hey, God, for me. <laughs> yeah. Hollenbeck showed me. Back in the day, I'm like, wait, what? He's like, it's like a little crackhead. You just have to rub it a little bit, and it moves faster. Oh, so stupid. Yeah. Why would that work? I, I'm a little nobody, that it does work. Yeah, nobody knows why, but it does. Hey. Hey. Am I sounding like a curmudgeon? Always. Oh, shut up. like so really how are people getting this information about old cards turned off it's a good question i know i don't do a good enough job of shredding my stuff or who knows that they're spending time in dump sites <laughs> <No>. <laughs> level entertainment. It really works on this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a short, slightly shorter segment. Yeah. Right. Oh, 
Yeah, so they're sending it. I know I sound. Listen, listen. I know I Yes, I don't like this. This is not supposed to. Yep. Hello, Tom Martino here. Three zero three seven one three. Talk. Seven one three eight two five five. So, Misha, what's going on? Misha, I thought it was still the automated thing. What's that? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. What were you saying about automation? I didn't know it was you. I thought it was no, still no. like the automated. Th- thing. This is this is artificial intelligence and. Uh, I'm just, I just sound like Tom Martino, and he uses me when he gets very busy. But it's, I'm programmed to sound exactly like him. I don't believe that. I'm just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> How can I help you? <laughs> mm, what do I need to tell you? The right from the beginning. You're, I, I see that you're having a problem with your living situation. So let's start there. Are you getting some kind of help because you had a, a, a problem with homes? Uh, or, or were you homeless, I mean, or what? Tell me what's going on. No, I'm living in just a regular apartment complex. It's low income. Okay. Um, because I've been having some employment issues ever okay. since COVID hit. Okay. But it's a normal complex where we all just pay Got it. normal rent. Like, I don't get any sort of assistance or anything. Okay. So what's going on? You're, but it's a low income apartment complex. So what's going on? We moved in in July of 2021. And I mean, aside from the complex being a little unprofessional and wait, so lax. this was July of 2021, way back then. Okay, right when okay. we moved in, I would say the last maybe six, seven months is when it's been heating up. What's the problem? So thus far, it's been a lot of deaths, back to back to back. Like they're all what do you call it? Um, natural. Natural, because the complex rents to a lot of veterans. That's another way that they get a lot of money from the federal government. They claim they're helping so many veterans and making sure they're not homeless, but they're letting them just die in these apartments downstairs, and then their bodies are sitting in there for weeks and weeks. Oh, come on, Misha, Misha. Constantly being here is terrifying. So are you saying... I'm not joking, like five bodies in the last... Holy, six months to holy a year. crap wow the S- vets are just dying in there but the leasing office is never open so nobody knows and nobody knocks on their doors until like three four weeks later so misha misha oh. um no one checks on these veterans are they disabled veterans no yes and no one checks on them and their bodies are sitting in those apartments for weeks and how is this affecting you The the constant death is just is scary. Are you looking to move? Killed, but to constantly be around, absolutely. No, I get it. Are but you to looking to move, be Misha? Death is outrageous. Is that why you're calling? You're looking to move? 
No. We, we are looking to move, but no time soon, you know, if it lines so up. So what, what can we do to help you? What, are, what can we do to help? Why, why are you calling us? I called you guys because I'm hoping that shedding some light on the complex will make them get their act together. Okay, now like, tell me, I the, don't have then to, do you mind mentioning the name of the complex? No, I don't mind mentioning it. What's the it. name? Courtyard Commons. And you're saying that Courtyard Commons, and, and I don't mean to be a wise ass when I ask this question, but I, I'm going to ask it. What can they... It's really not their fault, right, that people are dying, is it? I mean, what are they supposed to no. do to improve it? Nothing on the death thing. I just think that's morbid to constantly live somewhere where people are constantly dying. I, I know. I get fault. it. I get it. And it's not their fault to check on them either. I just, it's uncomfortable. What I'm faulting them for is there are roaches here. There are bed bugs here. There are mice here. And they no longer exterminate on a weekly basis. Okay, like they so used to, so the complex is being infested. So, do rodents. you want us to call over there and check them out? Is do you think that might help as far as hey, we're looking into the some of these complaints? I mean, if that's you guys' protocol, I was kind of hoping to do a scathing expose. <laughs> Well, you know, sometimes we do, depending on how bad it is. But what I'd like to do is start by calling them. So you're saying roaches and rodents. What else? A lot of violence. There have been hazmat out here continuously cleaning up blood from everywhere. The maintenance guy that worked here shot himself in the hand God. four months ago and bled everywhere. And then three weeks after that, a woman stabbed her man in his apartment, and he bled everywhere. Hey, Misha, so do you have coming out here? Do you have kids? I have a daughter, and she lives here to, there with you. Yes. Ooh, how old is she? Twenty-two. What does she think about all? And this? I have videos of the blood, and when I say blood, I mean like a crime scene, a horror movie. It's that much can blood. You, can you, and I took by any chance, would you be able to link us to that or send us that video? I sure can send you both of them. I got them on my ring camera. Hmm. Hey, listen, Misha. Um, we, do you have a manager there that you can give us a number off the air? Yes. Yes. Okay. Hey, Doc, are you listening to all this? I oh am, but God. I think uh, you should me? give this a chop. I've got about five things. Okay, give, I'm sorry. On. I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, yeah, you're, you're right. Let's give it to Chopper. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. You know, Chopper's sometimes when you're sitting in the studio, you just become like an easy target for me. Um, right. Yeah, Chopper's not taking cases today. No, no, he can do it. What well, can he do it tomorrow? I'm not sure. I will. I will ask him. If not, do me a favor and just give it to Dollar. But let me know, okay? So I, I'm putting Chopper down for now. Misha, we'll see what we can do. You know, no one deserves... Listen, people should not be living those conditions, all right? I mean, you know, public assistance or not, it doesn't matter. I mean, we, we, there, there has to be some standards of habitability and responsibility and all of that. I'm Tom Martino. Absolutely. Hold on. Now, Impact Traffic. This report is sponsored by Allstate. Some good news on I-25 through downtown. Northbound roads are back to easy driving after a stalled semi just before I-70 had some slow traffic through the area. Northwest of there, I-76 westbound, a new crash reported at Sheridan. We're seeing stop and go back from Federal. Heading east of there through Commerce City, I-270 westbound. Some road work continues between I-70 and Vasquez. I-70 east and westbound flowing free to and from DIA. Fox 31 pinpoint weather closing out this morning's wintry weather. High of 36 degrees, overnight low of 18. Tomorrow, partly cloudy skies with a high of 46. The current temperature in Denver is 27 degrees with your impact traffic and weather. Mark Swan, 630 KHOW. Some people just know there's a better way to do things, like bundling your home and auto insurance with Allstate. Why make things harder than they need to be? There's a better way to save time and money. Visit Allstate.com or call for a quote today. Red Rock's roof and solar 
that's redrocksrs.com, are such good people for sales, installation, and service of your solar system. But they also know about the financing, the government grants, the loans, and the tax credits. And they're experts at helping you apply. Plus, they can even show you how to make money with a solar system, no fooling, by selling back to the grid with an oversized system. RedRocksRS.com. RKC Automotive is such a good shop. We're getting rave reviews about Ramondo and his team providing value and honesty in old and new cars, foreign and domestic, big and small. They do it all. And that's RKC Automotive. They're on Evans, west of Tejon. If you're looking for a good shop with value and, and honesty, these guys, they do a, such a good job. 720-749-3965. Look up RKC Automotive on Facebook. John Fuller is a personal injury attorney that I hope you never need. But if you do need an attorney and it comes to personal injury, don't go to these places that advertise dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of attorneys and hundreds of people at call centers throughout the metro area. What are you kidding me? Why do they think that is an attractive thing to advertise? Yet you'll see people on TV always bragging about that. John Fuller brags about one thing. He'll only take as many cases as he personally, personally will work. You'll get his full undivided attention. You even get a cell phone number. You can call or text at any time. John Fuller has built his practice on that. And you'll notice the Fuller difference when you call him. Call just for free initial consultations. And then he works on a percentage fee basis. There is never an obligation when you first call. MyAccidentLawyer.co. That's for Colorado. MyAccidentLawyer.co. 303-597-4500. This is going to be one hell of a year, Bob. Tom? Hey, Tom? Yes. Did you want me to try to get Brad O'Brien on for tomorrow? No, no. I, I've been talking to him by text. He's okay. got a dentist appointment tomorrow. I'll, I'll let you know. Okay. Three eighths to five eighths adapter. Three eighths female to five eighths. Okay, I'm going to have to look for that. Uh. Oh, that might be cool. Can you see this? I hate this. I, I, 
Rivers Talk Station. Yeah, 630. The station I keep it on. 630 KHOW. Hi, Tom Martino, your troubleshooter. 303-713-TALK. We're running out of time. So real quick here. Um, Bob, tell Oh, wait, wait. Mike, I mean, Mike, Mike. Oh, no, I, we don't have time to take Mike. Tell Mike, I promise him, first up tomorrow, and we'll get working on it. I promise him. Uh, Bob, uh, what is this hot tub scam you're calling about? Hey, Tom, I called out a, a hot tub repair place. It's called True Freedom Hot Tub. Yes. He came out and gave me an estimate last week and uh, came up. We need $150 for parts, so I paid him and haven't heard from him since. You know, we had another complaint about this, Bob. Wait, I'm looking well, at it. I True looked him Freedom. up on Yelp, and he's... He's ripping off people left and right. Wait a minute. I'm, I've heard of other people. I'm looking right now. Hold on. Holy crap. You're right. You're right. You're right. And in fact, I put him on the sleaze brigade. Was this guy's name Neil Smith? That's it. Neil Christian Smith. He's a dirtbag. You know what? You, you, this, this rank, you're, you know, this guy is a total scumbag. In fact, I did put him on, let me look, uh, sleazebrigade.com. I don't have time, but if you go there, I think I put him on there. Um, and this guy's a, yup, 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 yup. Um, and I will keep warning people about him. Thank you. 303-713-TALK, 713-8255. Oh, well, we're out of time anyway. So don't forget PlumlineServices.com and call 303-MARTINO. Get lined up for the next show. Save all your problems for me. See you guys. Now I put on, wait, I put Freedom Hot Tom on here, I thought. I hope so. Damn it. They, I wonder. Damn it. He's not coming up. Neil Christian Smith, I think I put on the Sleaze Brigade. And I can't find him. True Feed Him Hot Tub. Neil Christian Smith. 